got a hangover. Whoa, I've been drinking too much for sure. I got a hangover. Whoa, I got an empty cup. Pour me some more so I can go until they close up. Hey, and I can drink until I throw up. Hey, and I don't ever ever want to grow up. Hey, I wanna keep it going, keep keep it going, 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 go, 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 go. I got a little bit trash last night. camera wasn't even on for that was crazy bro i already fucked it up bro i had the big shoes to fail bill i already failed it what's up okay i want to make sure i get this right because i tried it yesterday and it wasn't working out for me real quick let me we got this oh bro okay we did it first try how's everyone doing tonight oh my goodness i'm so nervous now I'm so nervous we should have went on kick we, we would have had a lot of bots if we were on kick that would have been sick True. Could have buffed those true. numbers up. Oh, it's okay. It's all got, right. It's all good. We got mad stuff to talk about today. We got the uh, the Sui bait. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the full thing. I, I don't want to get taken down. We got the uh, the Spurg off going on last night. It was an Olympic event. Nobody told me it was a triathlon event. Uh, that shit went all the way to five in the morning. That was crazy. Uh, we got the VTuber Jesus. who abuses the cat, and then there was one more, and I totally forgot about it. Burn brought it up to me earlier today I totally forgot what it was but anyways um k huck you wanted to run down for yes. the spurg off right or i no. wanted a rundown oh uh that happened last night yes 
Um, sure. Uh, but, but first, before we get before I uh, we get started, hello everybody in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. I am the co-host for tonight. <laughs> I don't know how good that'll be, but we'll see. Um, uh, so what what happened in Badwick's Discord last night with uh, Leia and Kaylee? Oh, you missed it. I think I, I had an announcement. I totally just forgot. There was a special guest I was trying to get on. Elite shots could not make it tonight. I don't know if anybody know who that is, but it is it is what it is. But no, there was like there was like hold on, I I got I know who could articulate this more. I, I I got a I got a backseat driver for this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Amber, Amber, let her know. Let her know. Oh god. Okay, so Where do we start? How do we start? Was it the population I mean... density or was it before that? Was it what? Uh-oh. The population density drama thing, or was it like, uh, what was oh, it Oh, I think that this goes all the way back to the Abbey stream, where Leia just kind of came in yelling that Kaylee and I were dumb cunts, and I think that Kaylee took that shit really personally, Um, because <laughs> oh. she doesn't, she doesn't, she's not like an online person, right? So this shit doesn't. So who I don't know Kaylee roll off of her in the else. same way. Who's who's Kaylee? What, what, else what do you mean to like... everyone else? Because okay, okay, so Kaylee's Badwick's partner. Oh, bro, we need to get Leia in here. I want to hear she it all does, over again. She does streams with him sometimes. <laughs> um, I will accept <laughs> zero criticism of Kaylee. <laughs> Um, that shit was nuts, though. Like they were really just like ruthlessly going at each other. It got it got pretty petty. I I I feel like because I'm so close with Kaylee, I'm probably the worst person to explain this fairly. Word word word. Anyways, like, they were they were going at each other's throats. Uh, I think Leia was called a Jew. That was a highlight in my book. She's called a Jew or a dirty Jew. That was kind of funny. So that was based. I'm not gonna lie. Kaylee did not awesome. call her a dirty maybe, juice. Song. Maybe I'm I might be gaslighting here, but that was kind of based in my mind. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, guys, we gotta this can be two we're abusing Kaylee's cats, about. bro. What are we gonna do? All right, from A to Z. All right, I don't care who speaks first. Right, this guy that's abusing this cat. What do we do with this? Because we can back, we can give him all the backlash he wants. This guy's still relevant now. He's still online. He's still you know uploading videos and stuff. What what exactly oh. are we gonna do with it? Burn? Oh, not for law. Go. You go first, Burn. You had a hot take, and you were like spewing some random bullshit to me earlier today. What was, what's your take oh, on that? Bullshit. Well, what do you mean by random bullshit, buddy? Oh, you were just talking about I mean, like, oh, I, I'll I mean, like, move you new... out of the stage, bro. <laughs> I okay. mean, like, the new Damn. shit about this guy is fucking like this guy went for, it went from like cat abuse to fucking <laughs> pedophilia real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, the fuck? I don't. Yeah. I don't know this story at all, but I would just like to point uh, out that uh, Shane Dawson lamp, did an lamp, entire bring in podcast lamp is... about masturbating on his cat. So God bless. I'll bring in Lamp. Bring in Lamp because definitely Lamp would know mm. more oh, yeah. than I, I do. One that but told me, never mind. You're yeah, not, not me. <laughs> but how does it feel that you are not invited to the craziest podcast with me, Lamp, Ant, and Kathonic Echo? How does that feel to be left out by the boys? It just feels <laughs> real bad. Dude. Does that make you feel lesser than yourself? Do you want to cry? Stab Yo, me in the back. Doing Echo tonight? fucking stab me right in the back. How did I stab you in the back? <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> this uh, so this VTuber thing, a, a another VTuber uh, called like Sun Kenji made a call out post uh, about a artist and like uh, rigging person in the VTuber community known as Shanzo that yeah. abused his cat live on stream and like to save you guys having to watch the clip what happened in the clip is his cat comes up to him and wants him to pet it you know it's mm -hmm. like you know being annoying and yeah. he like interacts with the cat and i guess the cat bit him in the clip because he mentioned talks about the cat biting him and calling it a little bitch and then you hear a noise that a cat only ever makes when it's in pain, like it squeaked, while he's like talking about wanting to squish it. What the so fuck? it's like very apparent that the dude like squeezed the cat to the point it made that noise. 
And what followed that is, like, him, like, fucking aggressively spanking the cat to the point, like, you can hear reverb. Like, you can feel reverb off of the desk because he's, like, fucking, you know, he's, like, going so hard. Yeah, and, like, Empress did, it, like, a... Empress did, like, an example on uh, her stream yesterday covering it of, like, how hard the slap was, and she said she, she said it was stinging her arm for, like, 15-plus seconds after when she did it. Yeah. And, like, it, you know, and it made the same sort of sound. It's not like... And it's not like uh, he was, like, being nice to the cat at all. And... It goes it goes along. He replies to the allegations by saying that that like basically like oh my cat likes to be like patted on the be like on, on the butt. Yeah, uh, I heard that. And, yeah, and stuff like that. And what? to respond to this, Sun Kenji, the same person that made the original call out post, makes another call out post under that. So what? So uh, what about this? Like you know. So what about this? And it's a clip of him rejecting a commission because the VTuber model was uh, a black woman. The fuck? So, so, my and question so, is... so he's getting dragged for being racist and for abusing his cat. Right, right, right. And, like uh, yesterday. So with, all, with all that clarification, what do you think is going to actually happen? Because like we've had Alinity, you know, we've had tons of, you know, people abusing their animals on camera. <laughs> Nothing really seems to happen. Do you think this is different? Um, are they what platform are they on? YouTube or t uh, Twitch? Twitch. Uh, Twitch. If Twitch. I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, Twitch. I if if they get enough backlash, if there's enough uh people talking about it on the zeitgeist of the internet, they will probably most likely ban this person for a uh, mm. little bit of time or suspend them for a little bit of time and then bring them back, especially if they make them enough money. But if they get enough backlash, they'll probably just end up banning them. Yeah. Well, yeah. So now that has like 145k on YouTube and 62 and a half k on Twitch. Uh, that's mm. how big this dude's platform is. And it was. Yeah, or was before this. <clears throat> is he this? But, so is this guy like American? Is there some cultural no, relevance to like what like, he's it, doing? He sounds. He sounds European. I can't. I can't say exactly what country he sounds like he's from, but he Beating sounds like he's from legal Europe. in other cultures. What the fuck? <laughs> I feel like. Well, so I feel like that there are cultural norms that are really bizarre to us as Americans that are normal in other places. So maybe beating your cat is normal wherever he's from. Mm. I wouldn't bang. Um, and he also like like he apologized profusely for the racism thing and said that it was like a poorly like a poorly received joke mm -hmm. and then he doubled down on defending himself from the cat abuse allegations because in his like one response uh like in his apology for the like the racism thing he doubled down and was like oh am I, like like oh like my significant other and i like you know adopt homeless cats and all that yeah I saw or that. whatever and and it's just like, dog, that doesn't, you know, change the fact that you fucking hurt that cat. Mm. Right. And that's like, I quote tweeted it and said, like, like, your apology doesn't mean anything, little bro. Like, nobody should forgive you for what you did. So, mm. with with this cat scandal, it, this guy's a male, right? Like, he identifies as male? Am I getting that Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, is can we call out another sexist complaint against Twitch if he doesn't get more or or if he doesn't get uh, a three day suspension but longer? Because Alinity only got three days for feeding her cat vodka and throwing the cat on a separate occasion. Mm. I I'd mean, say what Alinity uh, did was not nearly as bad as what this dude did. Yeah, and then like <laughs> then the pedophile is Alinity shit, the girl so. that threw the cat like over yes. the back of her yeah. gaming chair yeah. okay yeah anyone who thought that that was abuse does not own a cat that's all i'm gonna say dropping oh, the, the a vodka cat, thing was the worst part of the Alinity height. thing yeah the it's vodka not, thing was the worst yeah. part yeah i would agree vodka is bad but like dropping your cat from the height of a chair you don't have a cat if you think that that's hurting it because you've never had a cat there's just no way but had to like, jump the shit just keeps getting worse because uh last 
that's not Empress had like you know like infiltrated this dude's uh, Discord server to see <laughs> what like kind of cope he was putting out, and he was coping about the sun, the Sun Kenji dude that made the original post saying that he got like the dude like tried to nuke him twice like with the racism and the cat abuse. And then Empress said that, like, a lot of this dude's fans were blaming Western culture for, like, the racism thing. Mm, I can see that. You because, know like, what? it's a known thing in the VTuber community, like, where they uh, shy away from, like, ma like, the artists will shy away from making, like, black VTuber models. They don't want to get canceled, Which is, bro. like, really fucked up. Yeah, which is kind of fucked up, in my opinion. Well, but today the most interesting shit has uh, come mm. out because there was a clip from another VTuber. Uh, the guy. Like I can't remember. I can't remember the guy's name, but he played a clip where this, where this uh, Shanzo dude, fucking was like asking another person that he was in the in a call with, or like you know doing his like content with, like hey can I like you can I invite this person. And then the person's like, wow, like, what, does she have big tits or something? And then he was like, he was like, she does hentai voices and shit. And then he mentions that she's 15, and the dude, the other person's like, whoa, no, no, I don't want, like, no, I don't want to hear that. What the fuck? That's weird. And shit. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yeah, that clip went out. Yeah, that no, clip not, went out. Is, he well, tried man, to correct man. the age and say 16, yeah, which yeah, doesn't make 16. it any better. Which doesn't make it any goddamn better. <laughs> and the digging that uh, the digging that's been done here by Empress, I'll have to give her all the credit for the research mm -hmm. that that like I'm about to like to say at least. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, dude has made like made lolly VTuber models in the past. And is like sell it like and was like selling them on his website at cert at some point. Wait, so there's a problem with making black VTubers, but they're all perfectly okay with making children. Yes. Yeah, that's the that, that's why that's what was weird to me. Well, it's like VTubers why can't you make a VTuber black MO. VTuber model? Yeah, so black VTuber models are fucking wrong, but like lot like you know like sexualized child VTuber models are okay. Like, what Emperor the fuck? Should, uh, Emperor should find a new uh, hobby. No! Hey, I mean, no. No, Empress, no. Empress is no. Empress is Empress is good. Well, we love oh, Empress here. I know here. Empress is good, bro, but I'm talking from the outside perspective. Like, oh, she's a VTuber no. too? You know what I mean, bro? Echo of Tragedy is a good one, too. <laughs> like, yeah, isn't that Echo. saying something? <laughs> like, if Echo of Tragedy is a good one... It's like you, you know you you know how bad this shit really is. <laughs> the Echo of Tragedy is a good one. Well, here's the thing though, right? Is that Empress no shame and on Echo, um, no Empress and Echo and a few other VTubers that I know, they they are aware of the VTuber like um standard, I guess. Right, that right, right. can be that can be put against them. That's mm. why. They try to do things outside of the norm of like what the VTuber um norm would be or the stipulation, if you will. Um, and Empress is aware of it and she knows that there's criticism behind it and rightfully so. But I don't think that this necessarily has to do with like a VTuber standard, I think this has to do with the human standard, you know what I mean? Mm. Him behind him hiding behind the VTuber. Um, platform, if you will, and him getting away with it from a human standpoint. You get what I mean? Like, if he wasn't a VTuber, he would totally do this human-wise. If he was just... Yeah. A, yeah, I, I think so, anyway. Because no right, no yeah. person in their right mind would do that rightfully, no. Yeah, this is what I was telling Burn earlier on uh, Twitter when I replied to him, because it's like... The VTubers as like VTuber like content as a medium attracts these people because of the anonymity it offers, right. and you it's know it so brings in a lot of degenerates as well. Like, it brings in a lot of degenerates as well because yeah, of, like I, anime I, yeah, culture, like yeah, anime no, stuff as well. 
It's like 10 yeah. to 1. There's like 10 like degenerate pedophiles to one normal. What's the ratio? <laughs> right, I right. need the numbers on that. Ember, can you get crunching away at those number ratios? Uh, Japan to US. <laughs> it's like, it's not Flatly surprising. Really too flatly. It's just, I'm like, I'm not surprised that this guy got outed as a pedophile. I'm just not surprised. Well, here's the thing though, right? Is that, again, not all VTubers and not anybody that is <laughs> that does vtubing is a degenerate okay is a mm, i agree pdf file or is you know anybody like that right like sure. again mm. I, i'm sure that there are stipulations and again that's really sad that there are stipulations behind people who do vtubing because they enjoy it right they mm. want to be able to express themselves in different ways and they don't want to show their faces whatever it may be yeah i if I am it technically because I don't have a model itself. I don't ever show my face on stream. It's very yep. rare that I do. So when I do, it's only because I feel like it or because I want to. Because again, my face has been out there. People have seen my face before. It is what it is. But mm. again, I, 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 I think that people that think that they can hide behind the VTuber persona, as far as like them trying to get away with like the bullshit, like um. Flamenco is a great example, or this, or this guy. What's his name? What's Red his name again? Uh, Shanzo. Shanzo. Yeah. Shanzo. Yeah. Like, or that guy, right? It's it, it's sad that these people think that they can get away with it, right? And that I they mean, they can Red they can get away. He can get away with it too. But here's the thing, though, right? Here's the, here's the other question, though, right? For mm. those streamers who don't show their face, what do you think that they've been able to get away with? You know what I mean? Like it's why is a VTuber you being held mean? to that to like, that standard? You know what I mean? Does that mm. make sense? It would. It, yeah. The same could be at the same could be asked for that though too. In the same token, right? That if a if a streamer doesn't show their face, which they have every right to do, and a VTuber does too. Not gonna not gonna you know diminish that, but mm. I, I I think that the VTuber like label behind it is a bit much. To my to my personal, you know, taste, but mm. I also I also understand that at the same time, because if they think that they can get away with their degeneracy behind the VTuber model, then they're just fucking stupid. You know what I mean? So what, what's that statement? Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. You can go back to it. I, I, I'm going to forget this question in a minute. It, it sounds like you're saying that these people, in a way, have a special privileges because they hide their face. Is, is that what you're saying? And that should it shouldn't be they that. I think way? they do. Oh, they, they think, think they, do. they do. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, sorry. Yeah, I, was, I, I was just very curious about that. Now you got me. No. Intrigued. No, they think they do. They think that they have special privileges because they have the VTuber model and they think that they can get away with it, right? But the mm. same argument could be made. I'm not saying that it's valid. But the same argument could be made for those streamers who don't show their face, right? Who are not VTubers. I am one of those people. I fit into yeah. that category. So, and that's and that's the thing, though, right? Again, it just it just varies with each person, I guess, and their reputations and things like that. Each each person is different, but the stipulation yeah. each but the stipulation that VTubers that some VTubers have can be yeah. unfair can be unfair it's based upon their persona and what they do as a you know as a creator right yeah. it shouldn't I... just it, it shouldn't just be it, they shouldn't be labeled as a bad person just because they're a vtuber you know what i yeah. mean i agree it's just it's just too unfortunate like it's, the majority of vtubers are like either lolicons or some other type mm. of degenerate. It's like it, it's unfortunate. Oh. Most it's it's mo it's very un it's very unfortunate. Most VTubers, yeah. like Echo Tragedy and fucking Empress, are lumped into the same like genre. Of, like if you're a VTuber, right. you may be a pedophile. It's just it's right, just right, it's just right. too bad that the that the VTuber community just has a horrible reputation when it comes to VTubers. Uh, not VTubers. When it comes to lolicons, defending like little little girl, little boy smut, etc. <laughs> it right, just comes right. with the reputation. Yeah, and like I mentioned and earlier, the uh, the race thing too. Mm. Like, and that's the, sad. like the race thing too. Yeah. Mm, so and I think that the ultimate... because I know a lot of like I know a few, quite a few like you know VTubers that are just you know normal people. Like mm. 
it's yeah. really fucking Same. unfortunate Same. for those people. It's like it's unfortunate for those people that like people like Shanzo are kind of dragging the uh like poisoning the well, so to speak, for people yes. that aren't yes. like big and on anime culture, because yeah. when right. they look all, like from the outside, they're gonna be like burned and be like, "What the f- fuck are these freaks doing?" <laughs> right, exactly, <laughs> and that's and that's my point of view, though, right? Is yeah, that well, not every not yeah. every VTuber uh, either on YouTube or Twitch or Kick or wherever they decide to stream on is or make content on? Not every VTuber is a degenerate. Right? Yeah, they I are agree. to a certain degree. Don't get me wrong, but they're not to that degree. <laughs> you get what I, I mean? mean? Like Echo of the Tragedy is fucking model. I'm gonna bring Echo of Tragedy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring fucking... Echo of Tragedy in because he can elaborate on this yeah, better than any of us. Yeah, go ahead. Echo is a degenerate. Don't don't let him. Yeah, I think the, yeah. the, the I think Echo the real takeaway here. here. It's a stereotype then that all I think the Echo. I think nothing. K Huck, you literally don't know the community well enough. No, I think that the ultimate takeaway no. here is is no cam, no opinion. Period. Ooh. Oh, thank God I blocked well, my face. That that can be the case, Ember. But here's the thing, though, right? Is that again, I understand that there is in talking with Ember and with or not Ember, uh, uh, Empress, Empress Emp- and other and other VTubers that I know, right? Um. They have the same struggles because they have issues with showing their actual face and whatnot and things like that within the VTuber community. Because, again, it's kind of frowned upon. It just depends on, you know, who they circle with and things of that nature. But with Ember and uh, Rennie, Rennie is another good one. Rennie, um, Sky Valicious. She's she's uh, another great one. Scott she's Levigus. another great example. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's a she's another. I I call her delicious because she's delicious. Anyway, um, but I the the both of them. I hate that that stipulation is behind the both of them because they're both great people and they both make great content. So and and same with Echo too. Like Echo is a VTuber himself, and he chose to do that, and that's totally fine. That's up to him. But there shouldn't mm-hmm. be that stipulation behind the three of you. More importantly, or anybody that's just wanting to make content behind a VTuber skin. Like who cares? You know what I mean? There. Yeah, I just I'm fired up about it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Ah, I was like, next. Liked it. as far as this goes, like. Like I give my props to Echo because, like you know, his uh, like his attractions are to consenting of age women, like human women, and not like little yeah. cartoon girls. Exactly, exactly. That's why I've always that's why I have always had respect for Echo to a certain degree. Although he's an asshole, and Echo. they're never um, minors. You um, know what I'm saying? But but no, they're they're not. He's not that much of a degenerate, and I will stand up to that, and I will voice my opinion on that one. Anybody that tries to say that Echo is a degenerate to that level, I will fight anybody that tries to say that. 100%. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that right now. You want to fight, Bradley? You want to fight? You want to fight? Echo is a pedo. No, I'm just fine. Bradley? Bradley, Echo. Echo, 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 what what is, like... What is your experience with the VTuber community? Because at some point, I know you've had to have tried to make friends in there. Um, yeah, I've been like on multiple sides of the community. Like when I first joined the VTuber community, I, okay, like I guess I wanted to be a little bit more innocent online. Like I didn't want to get into like any of the degenerate side, just because like my experience with VTubing before I actually joined the community, or just like I just watched it just for like you know downtime, like relax, you know, listen to someone like just talk to chat, just having fun. Didn't really care about like any. I think at that point I stopped watching drama for a while, so mm-hmm. I just joined the community. You know, it was nice. Everyone was supportive. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like how like now recording kind of like supports like some of the little guys and like some of like some of the people before yeah. now recording supported the little guys. So that's what was happening yeah. at the time. But mm-hmm. um, there was a certain point where it just got to the point where it so many people just started joining that people just started drawing lines. And it got to the point where it didn't matter how bad of a person you were. If you had the higher sub count, people would like literally leap like in front of their own friends to defend you. Like they would betray people. There was like so much like uh, vitriol, like fucking like shit talking amongst each other to the point where it went from like 
someone would support someone, they're like, oh yeah. my god, yeah, you should go follow this person. It's my friend. But then, like, behind the scenes, they would be fucking laughing at their numbers. Or they'd be pulling up fucking, like, oh, look, this person only had, like, 200 donations today. Like, they should just quit. Like, I don't know why they're even mm-hmm. doing this. Like, they, like, crazy shit like that. So mm-hmm. I ended up leaving, like, that part of the community and going more towards, like, the, I guess, uh, uh, the not safe for work side. Just because, like, those people were more open with themselves. They weren't pretending mm-hmm. to be anyone they weren't. Like, they would post pictures of themselves. They would just do whatever. And the only reason I ended up leaving that sphere is because it started getting to the point where if <laughs> every weird. fucking day would be a debate, not just uh, it got weird, but it would be a debate on, well, why is Lolly okay? Oh, why is this okay? Like, oh, I hate women who post their boobs on, on Twitter, but then also they're, like, fucking, like, hardcore defending Lollicon. Because, like, the Lollicon issue right. and fucking VTubing has been a thing for, like, literally, like, the last three or four years. And it got to the point where, like, they just started ignoring it because it's, like, some people don't like it and they already fucking cut ties with Wait, it. And the other ones who don't, they just keep supporting it. Wait, so you're telling me Lollicons hate big boobs? Wow, that's so surprising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> that That's a bit much, but no, I, again... <laughs> You again, you have the few people like Empress and Rennie, for example, who are not a part of that degenerate community to a certain degree. Yeah. Well, I would even are say they... it's greater than just that because, like, that side of the sphere is, I would say, it's more popular among like the Eastern fans or the people who are f- more fans of the Eastern side of VTubing because, right. like, they're the same crowd that don't want, like, they don't want, like, you know, like, trans people in the community. They don't want, like, all this, like, what they call, like, super far left ideology. Like, just, like, some of the most basic stuff. Like, in this community, like, we might make fun of it. But they, like, they don't want anything in it. They, if they see, like, a trans person, like, oh, ill lolly. They will literally send, like, fucking, like, thousands of the fucking messages of fucking Ooh. lollycon. I've literally had Ooh. to delete an account because of fucking that shit happening. Where you just shit talk one, one, one person and then all of a sudden you get fucking groups of people sending you shit mm. so like like that sphere is pretty degenerate but it's like such like the community split in half so much that like empress and rinny and like other people i know like they don't even they're not even like in the same like fucking like sphere of influence like it's totally different so i've even seen like mm-hmm. people that rinny people people that rinny's friends with are exactly the way rinny is like there's no like there's such a, like a vtubing has gone from being like one thing to now it's like facilitated outside of it like there's people who are vtubers that don't even realize they're vtubers like they have the model right. and everything and they don't even think it's vtubing because Burn. they're like oh no it's just a model Burn's got the yeah thing, like bro. vtubing used to be like revolving heavily like around you. like <laughs> idol culture like uh the k-pop shit right uh, echo yeah. like it used to be like that like that's how the eastern side of vtubing is and on the western side of things you got people that want to emulate the eastern vtubers and have like the idol culture thing going but mm. now you start like you're like you're saying you're starting to see people that are independent of that and just want to be vtubers because they thought it was cool to like yeah. have the model and the rigging and all of that stuff instead of having their face cam which is you know all fine and dandy and i'm you, you know i'm glad that people are being independent with it because Honestly, the idol culture stuff, it's not really my cup of tea. Like, I'm too Western for it, obviously. But it's healthier for the uh, creators as well because, you know, they get to choose what they want to do with their uh, careers. Yeah. Yeah, because I think um, there's, like, obviously I don't want to get too, like, too, too deep in this conversation, but, like, currently the way the community is, like, the overall, like, VTuber community a lot of people are starting to move away from doing agencies. That's what, like, that was, like, the biggest thing with VTubing. Like, you had to join an agency. Even, like, smaller agencies would pop up, and you would have to join them to get any semblance of, like, viewership or any semblance of, like, originality. Sorry to interrupt. Can you explain Uh-oh. what agency means? So, agency, like, like, so okay, so like, like, like those... esports groups in a way. Like, it's kind of yeah, like, like esports or, like, talent groups. Like, yeah, oh, yeah okay. it's like esports okay, artists. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just confused That's... on what that meant. Okay. No, yeah, of course. So, like, recently, there's been, like, so much drama with that over, like, the last, like, year, two years that now people are starting to push away from that. And not only that, like, some of the biggest companies in VTubing are losing some of, like, their biggest fucking talent over, like, stupid little shit. Like, either, like, they'll do something wrong 
or they just don't like something and then it'll just get them rid of them or maybe they don't make enough money so like fucking they don't even pay attention to them it's getting to the point where they're getting too big that they can't like they're too big they're too big to fucking fail if they fucking fall yeah. there's like i think um any color which is the people who own niji sanji they have like 230 plus members if that mm-hmm. company fails those 230 vtubers don't own any, any other property they lose everything among their vtubers they lose their channel their model yeah. uh any outside revenue they get from it their merch like literally if, if that company disappeared tomorrow they're done so a lot of people are starting to move away from that model because it's better to be crowdfunded than to be corporate supported where like a corporate yeah. uh, the corporate support will be really good short term like people will start like debut one day they're like oh yeah by the way i stream i'm gonna stream like next thursday and that thursday stream will have like 15 20 000 people on the on the live and then like two or three months later they might have like 30 people if at all so like people are starting to realize that you know just getting like fucking like thrown into the fucking fire isn't a good way because if you're not good for it there's no point of you fucking like going big and then crashing real fast oh you think commentary yeah is like but that in it's, a way? it's really I, I would say probably not not necessarily like maybe commentary commentary used to be like, that. like commentary used to be more like that when people used to shout each other out and then oh shit you know pyrocynical just shouted out this guy and boom 100k the next day or like like Aiden Aiden projects like when he got it out and he just got shot to a million like that's I would I would compare it to that where like some people got shouted out that probably shouldn't have gotten shouted out because mm-hmm. either they couldn't handle like you know that much like of an audience or that they never planned to even do it long term so by the time they got bored of it it just completely just destroyed I it see, yeah. which is why like shoutouts kind of don't mean nothing no more because people would shout people out go watch the one video and realize holy shit. Their second video sucks. I don't want to be a part of this. That's why shoutouts went from like like the last person ever get shouted out and make it big. I had like a big audience at the time was fucking lyrics. Lyrics got shouted out by Keemstar and boom, he was like fucking he was like a bigger commentator out of nowhere. Mm. I so I think that's what like what's gonna happen with VTube. I mean, now we'll get lyrics out. dude. It was that guy that planted the tree. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that. Planted the when, tree. It was when Drama Alert was there and the guy said, What do I have to do in order to get a shout out from Keem? And Keem told him he's got to donate or plant the tree and videotape it and make it entertaining, and he did that. Uh, whatever happened to that guy? You guys remember that or no? Am I crazy? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember that. that I remember. Well, I, mean, I, I remember Keem. I remember Keem saying that, but I just you know never really followed through with that story. Keem star. I wonder what happened. It's probably that one, yeah. Team trees. Keem star. I don't know. Team trees, baby. All right, let's get to some real shit, bro. Yeah, I just spilled yeah. My I'll be dropping the drink. Shanzo video tomorrow, though, so keep an eye out for that. It'll drop that, like, like tomorrow yeah. afternoon or evening. Oh, oh, oh my God! What are we gonna do with Darcy, guys? What What do we do? How do we? <laughs> Oh, my oh God. God. Well, now the video Here we is go. now privacy complaint. I don't... <laughs> Come at me. I don't care. What do we do? You know, I'm going to say this. Darcy single-handedly united all of commentary. <laughs> Wait. One, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Xyli has a question. Echo, is that you on Twitter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's me in the picture. Wait. Hold on. You posted your picture on Twitter? Yeah. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I forgot. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, gonna... what? Hold on, break the hold on, breaking news. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Hold on. Hold on. Bro. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> hold on, Echo. Hold on. Are you serious? Yeah. Hold on, dude. Hold Somebody on. at me hold in it. On. Echo of Trey. Where are you at? Wait, what's your name on Twitter? Wait, no. Wait, you want me? Echo underscore of underscore tragedy. Oh, that's what you look like? Yeah. You, yo, Ant's got some competition. Hold on. Dude, that's not competition, dude. He needs to shave his. <laughs> <laughs> you did! Oh, yay! Good for you. Good yeah, I for figured you. I might as well do it while, you know, before someone else does it for um, me. You, you do kind of look like Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, like that's, like that's literally my nickname. You like, look like drugstore Aaron in high school. Rogers, bro. Jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you had the five o'clock, if you had the five o'clock shadow as well, like on your like cheeks and your chin, you would look like funny Aaron enough, Rogers. Funny enough, I did, 
but I shaved it like literally like right before that picture. <laughs> all right, all right. Buckle well, that's down. A time. Mustache, bro. We've sorry, had, sorry. We've had yeah. Very polarizing people in this community all agree with uh, everybody else in the community. What are we doing with Darcy before? Are we just gonna blackball them? Just ban them from every Discord now? No. No. What did we learn from this situation with Darcy? I mean, nothing. Honest, like honestly, I've just learned that Darcy's fucking like like a fucking habitual liar. I mean, like just the worst, <laughs> the worst. Like I'd say, worst. Like the amount of lying is worse it. than worse than demented. In my opinion, I, I, it's like the severity truthfully... of the lie mm-hmm. is no. questionable, but like the amount of lying is worse. Yeah, the amount and like who it affected. The illusions of grandeur as well, bro. For... Oh my! I, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. Like, here's my thing though, right? Is that I ask my questions in that call, in that Discord call, and whether or not I sounded smart about them or whether I sounded stupid about them, <laughs> which I've, I've heard different comments about, and that's fine. That's okay. I'll take whatever, but. I just, I think, truthfully, and I've said this before, and I said that I would say this publicly oh, if it got brought up again, right? I I truthfully think that the questions that were being, you know, thrown at him were probably deemed to be fair. But the thing is, though, is that he had over 20 or so people in that call, right? Mm. And he probably got way overwhelmed. But again, here's the thing, though, right? You know, on the other side of the coin, he knew what he he should have known anyway, what he was getting himself into by mm. joining Badwick's Discord. It's okay, right? Huck, no one invited him to join that call, and multiple people advised him that it was in his best interest to leave that call multiple there you times. Go. Yes. There you go. Yes. There you but, go. Like a, See, a greater. I, I mean, Reb's here. He, I think he. I think Darcy came in just to confront Reb, and then it just spiraled from there. Is that Reb? Answer his phone calls. Right. Hi, Rev. By the way, hello. Hello, hello. hello. That, I think so, that's why Darcy came in. It was just to confront Reb. So on the is is that true, Rev? Quote unquote. Is that? Yeah, is that true, Rev? Yeah, I think for the most part, um, I did learn from that conversation is that you can have speedy recoveries from double brain hemorrhages in upside down land. God oh, bless God. America. No, and I was even I was even gonna, I was even gonna mention this, right? Is what was really weird when I was listening to that call is anytime they were pressed on any single thing that anybody had any questions about their story it would change from the initial story they said. So any single fucking time they got pressed on any contentious part of the story, it changed. Mm. Well, here's here's my thing, though, right? Is that I asked him, because initially, I, and again, this is where my misunderstanding came from, and I and I will own up to it, is that I thought that he had said that he was found by one of his cousins or a cousin. That's what it sounded right? like to me too. No, he got got a family it. friend because yeah. it was but, the cousin yes. that tweeted yes. from. It was yes. the cousin on his Twitter. Yes, but then it was the cousin, as we all well know, that was the one that was tweeting on his Twitter. Okay, and mm. that I got the two mixed up. So that one, I will, you know, take responsibility for that, I should have, yeah, I should have it's understandable for you to get confused because even that version changed four times when we asked him how he got to the hospital it was first that his father sent out a, a search party then it was a family friend took him then it was an emt took him and then it was the family friend was also an emt and that's who took him so the story kept that's changing. what i heard that's what i heard that's what i heard uh-huh. i heard that a family that a family friend was the one that took that found him and took him to the hospital. And I was like, okay. And that when I asked him if he was alone, he said, to my recollection, I was. Okay, were you or weren't you? <laughs> like, were you that's, alone? That's so weird to <laughs> or me. Or were right? you? So when I had my major accident, all right, the, the concussion in hockey, I remember, I remember the score. I remember what, how much time was left in the period. Everything. I remember going into the corner and then just nothing. Like, I remember everything before that. 
That's so weird. I know there's a lot of people that can remember exactly what they were doing. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We are leaving out crucial information. Supposedly, they had taken sleeping medication before this. So this could hamper their ability to remember things or recollect it before oh, the crash. Yeah. So, therefore, I could probably understand some of it. But do we believe that they actually took sleeping medication? It do we believe sleeping, this whole story? Prescription medication. It's not. Oh, okay. yeah, he changed, he changed, he changed it to the it's improper. Regardless. Yeah, here's, here's my thing There's with no this, way right? they had a car accident to that degree without police involvement. They need to assess road conditions for safety. And based on the pictures that were posted, yes, the police would have had to have been called. You can't file with your insurance without a police report, period. Mm -hmm. And point, plus, point. also, what doesn't make sense is that how they went to the hospital and they did not end up in a psych ward afterwards with their whole family knowing they had a suey issue, right? So if they had these issues or had called a a, a hotline beforehand, mm. they they knew all this shit. Why the fuck wasn't the, the, the hospital notified of any of this? Because they're not in the hospital. Yeah, mm. exactly. Well, bingo! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, it, here's, here's, I'd say here's regardless my... of whether the... Okay, go ahead, K-Hook. You can go. No, go ahead. Go ahead, Lamp. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, regardless of if this, like, game end attempt was real or not, <laughs> all of the fucking shit that followed this has just fucking irritated the fuck out of me and put me personally to the point where I'm done. I see, I don't give a fuck what is true at this point because of yeah. all of the lies. Yeah. I did feel I'm, bad because Ember I'm was asking, Ember was asking like legitimate questions before I started recording, and then I came in there and I basically said, "Darcy, you made the fuck up," and then just derailed from there. Well, that, here's, that was here's... my bad. We we had order at one point <laughs> before the recording. We were getting like legitimate straight answers, and then I just said, "Darcy, I think you made it the fuck up." Yeah. And then it all went. Yeah. The, went the sad part was is that the more That's productive part of the entire uh, call wasn't recorded and that was like uh when matt was pitt matt was pitt. asking questions yeah, yeah that was uh, yeah later in the night i was already in bed at that point because i thought we had already yeah. done it and we were over well with, yeah because so. darcy yeah. left twice and then darcy the came time. back yeah it came back two different times and at that point yeah. it's like 3 a.m almost 4 a.m for me i I, so. I don't know it was the the way that i looked at it is that it from looking at it from darcy's perspective he was getting bombarded with like 20, 30 people at one point asking him questions and bombarding him with all sorts of different questions and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And different statements. The other side of the coin, though, is that he he knew he joined a Discord, Badwick's Discord, this very Discord, and knew what was the potential of what could happen, right? I thought, and, I thought Darcy was already he, here. I'm sorry. I thought he already no. cut you off. I thought he was already here. No, no, no. He may have, and he, he may have, uh, I don't know, but th they were that's already the thing, in though. the he, Discord. They weren't in the He was the already a member of the server. Yeah. yeah. He joined this Discord, yeah. right? Knowing mm. full well, or should have known full well, that a whole bunch of people would have been coming in after him and going, oh, Darcy's in the Discord. Darcy's in the Discord, which is exactly what happened. Not only and, that, the two, like, I was in the call when they joined again. I had added them on mm. Discord. I had added them on uh, fucking Twitter and everything like that. Basically calling mm. them out. Like, bro, you're a piece of shit, right? So, of course, the, the, if, they, if she tries to play the victim card or whatever, uh, fuck you. You knew exactly what was going on. I called your ass out. I just really hope well, she doesn't play the victim card. And then there was, uh, yes. there was, yeah. what was it, the SA thing that they started crying? Like, oh, God. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said that. Uh, so going back and forth. Yeah. But, yeah, but you literally lied well, about killing yourself. Like, what the fuck, bro? But here's, here's my thing. And if Darcy is listening to this, I will I will put this out there for help, him to bro. listen to. They need help. Yes, they, they, they need help. Yes, 100%. But Keep the other thing that I will... But here's the other thing that I want to point out there in case, you know, I'm just... <laughs> Maybe it's just me just thinking out loud, and I just want to put that this out there, too. Darcy, I hope that you listen to this, and I hope that you take the criticism that everybody is giving to you as though we we just want you to get help at the end of the day. That's it. That's all there is to it. We just want you to be happy and healthy. That's it. That's all there is to it. 
And if you want to talk about this at some point to somebody that you think that you can trust within the community, then by all means do so. But we just want you to get help. That's all there is to it. Mm. That's how I feel. So I want Darcy to get into a real car crash. In GTA, in GTA, in GTA, goddamn. Goddamn. Guys. Hello. <laughs> oh, Los Santos uh, Highway Patrol here. Hope you get into a car accident soon on our video game. No, no, oh my God. no, no, no. Lally, no. did you record the call last night too? Oh, yeah. All 140 some gigs. <laughs> oh my fucking God, I was accidentally dude. recording yeah. Call of Duty in 4K that whole time. He told me right before hours. we he told me right he told he told me right before we came on. He's like, bro, bro, I, re I recorded the call and I'm like, recorded what call? He's like the Leia and Kaylee blood sports. I'm like, oh shit. It was so good. Okay, Hugs, were you there for that at all? I no. heard some of it, but not all well, of it. No. She heard the, the part. Was that Leia she left she the heard server. the premiere part, the fucking what is it called? Uh not epilogue. Pilot. She heard the pilot shoot. She didn't actually see any of the episodes. I, I just heard I just heard them saying I heard Xylee say something or not Xylee. Leia say something about tech. Sorry, so Xylee pop up in the chat sorry um i saw leia say or heard her say something about taxes with between the difference between american and canadian then that's all i caught nah immigrants so <laughs> yeah it was like, a we, were talking about, like yeah. we were talking about the the like economic burden of illegal immigrants on in the varying yeah. countries Oh, and they just got really petty with each other, and it became less about what we were talking about and more about them calling each other dumb cunts. Stupid cunt. Yeah. So it oh. all boiled down because Flatly started doing the math for just New York City to all of Canada, and then I was told <laughs> that was an unfair ratio, so I gave her the numbers, and then they decided to make it a fair ratio, and then uh, Kayla ended up getting the same numbers, a fair ratio. and then. Leia's like, yeah, you're dumb, so you just couldn't stand that Flatley was right regardless, even though you got the same numbers as him. And then Ember was mm -hmm. like, yeah, well, the fair ratio would make more sense so that we can have a more even discussion about what's going on. And then, uh, yeah, they just started throwing hands. <laughs> it was crazy, bro. <laughs> like, two orangutans locked in a cage. I, I don't was think wild. that... I don't even think it was as wild as it got during the ending... During the end of the night, though. Like, the end of the night was fucking... Went full blown. Oh, that wasn't though, even about dude. anything. They're just dueling it out, word battling, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got extremely toxic after that. Yeah, I didn't it catch really any bad. of that. It Did you catch really all bad. that though, Gladly? Oh, catch every... dude! And then the, she left the thing. This is the the cherry on top. She left the thing, right? Mm. And we couldn't really hear what was going on. All we were hearing is like a beep. Uh, uh, like randomly Wait, throughout. Wait, Kaylee or Kayla? Kayla. Yeah, yeah. Right. we're not, we're she was not away. doing this. She was yeah. away from the mic, right? Yeah, so I made a joke. I'm like, oh my god, are they fucking right now? Ha ha ha! Lol, right? And then um, Leia goes, oh my god, if that's real, I'm totally gonna use that against her. That's disgusting, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, so uh, I don't really know. So I was wasn't paying attention. I was there, but I was like not there. I was somewhere else in my brain. You know what I'm saying? I was out. You were drunk as shit. Come on, uh, dude. I was twelve <laughs> deep at that point, right? <laughs> dude, I. But um, dude, I, I, I don't know. She came I wish... back and used her kid as like a a defense thing. It was like she hid behind her kid against Leia. I think she was really upset oh. that you yeah, guys were because... making a correlation between her kid crying and like someone having sex. So, well, I mean, no, I, and that's then what we, I was we even apologized to her. We're like, oh, we Wait, didn't know what? it was your kid. Yeah, See, we didn't no, know yeah. it was her kid, so we we're like, oh, sorry, no, that's not funny. See, anymore. yeah, that's that's why know. this shit gets this is why this shit gets really retarded because it's like we heard that, made a joke, uh, yada yada, that we moved on from it because then somebody server muted her, right? And yeah. then we oh, moved on from it. it. Or yeah, or the, oh, no, or that. she was kicked, she was kicked, yeah. And then we, we were, like, chilling for maybe, like, an hour and a half, two hours. It had to been, it had to been a, a it was like, 30 minutes. Easy. Okay, it had been 30 minutes. I was, I was <laughs> pretty fucking longer, tired. I was super I drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it Dude, felt didn't way Didn't like... come back and, like, full-on scream at Leia? That was, yeah. like, way after. That's that was when it after started. Kaylee had uh, confronted no! Leia. About, I don't think I've yeah, ever heard Badwick scream like that, that before. That. Badwick screamed at Leia? Yeah, like, it was crazy. Little, I don't think so I've he ever heard him. He didn't what? scream at her right away, but once they started going back and forth, he got, like, pretty, pretty loud at her. Well, yeah. what started it is uh, Leia Ooh. called Badwick Cuckwick. Yeah, and, and then that's he oh, screamed at her. Oh, no. I mean, I'm not going oh, to lie, no. so 
if I were bad, my wife or significant other would be putting me in a really tough situation there if they're just mm-hmm. throwing around. Like, if I had a DM with Ember, and then my wife's like, Ember, I see you messaging my husband, mm. da 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 That puts me in a really weird situation. I'm like, oh, wait, what the fuck is, what is going on? Like, how else, how would you guys deal with that? I would just completely <laughs> shut down, bro. Just like that. Honestly, Here, here's the thing. So I feel like Kaylee brought it up because Leia had DM'd her, or DM'd Badwick about Kaylee. So, mm-hmm. that probably, because yeah, it I was mean, about but, Kaylee, I feel yeah. like that's fair. But, but well, look at this. As the, as, as the partner of fair. Kaylee, right? And, and as the partner I, of I Kaylee, if it was about Kaylee, I, I don't know. If it was about my significant other, if somebody was messaging me about my significant other about on the internet, I would tell my significant other. I and would that's too. just yeah, I, I don't care who it yeah. is. I don't no matter what it is at all. They're, my significant well, other de- de- deserves the right but to the, know. the biggest problem with right, it though isn't right. it's not it wasn't a negative thing about Kaylee. Uh, no, okay. Was yeah, she was though. saying that I she agreed. Hear. She agreed was, with yeah, uh, Kaylee's here, here's, or assessment here's, of uh, Abby. Here's my thing, right? Um, okay, so having, and this is my thing with, with just Leia, from my opinion, right? And I, I don't know very much about Kaylee. I just know that she was on Turd Island quite a few times. I've talked with her quite a bit, and, you know, her and I have gotten along, and I don't know her that well, but I know Leia better. And I, I just will just say that with Leia, I don't think that she meant to get into a blood sports with Kaylee. I think that it just happened and she just went with it and maybe Kaylee did too. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I wasn't there. I didn't hear any of it. I would have to hear it for myself. I I could see I could see maybe the first half with the politics stuff, maybe right? But but, nearing the end of the the night. No. But here's the thing. I have but here's the thing. I could, I don't, but I could have but here's the thing when i was in my and i don't know if most of you probably know this or not but do you guys remember the blood sports that leia and i got into like a while ago yeah the world war huggy blood sports of course. The, yeah. yeah the huggy stuff and yeah. she <laughs> and she, i i find this funny i laugh at it now because it is funny um Again, I find this funny. If you guys do not find this funny, that's that's okay. But Leia brought okay. in my husband and said that Maggot could suck Mr. Huck's dick. Hold on, hold on. I found that funny. Do you know why? Because it was. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. Was... But that's hold like on. your... Okay. Yeah, it it was my personal perception of it, mm-hmm. and I've told her I found that funny. Now, she has since apologized for that, okay? She mm-hmm. has. I, I will give credit where credit is due. She has apologized for that, that she should not have done that, and she should not have said that, and that's totally fair. Yeah. I told her, and this is on a battle extreme, and you guys can go back and watch it if you want to or listen to it. I told her, I it's fine. I found it funny. And I still to this day find it funny. Because yeah. again, it's just, that's just, I, I even told Mr. Huck well, about it later. I said, yeah, you were brought up in a blood sports. And he was like, excuse me, what? And I had him listen okay. to it. I had him listen to it. And he was like, oh, okay. Wait, and well, like, I think that that's, that's really, that kind of leads to Kaylee's like chief complaint with it though, was that. She felt like Leia slighted her. Leia was really shitty to Kaylee, and mm-hmm. Leia realized that and made an apology. But in that apology, she gave it to Badwick instead of giving it to Kaylee in any at any mm-hmm. degree. So, I think well, that that's here's my thing. Though, right? Leia here's, apologized here's, you regardless I, of if you needed it or not. But Kaylee didn't feel like she got that apology. Does Kaylee here's have the thing. a Twitter? Though? Here's the thing, <laughs> Amber. Here's my thing, right? Whoa. whoa. And, and this is again this is just my perception of leia and this is my this is my a personal opinion and leia can no i'm not gonna get mad shut up shut up i'll get mad at you before anything else twenty dollars if you get mad Um, at me (laughs) bet anyway um but here here's my thing though right is that okay this is my thing with leia and i've noticed this and this is just my personal perception okay she is not, she only gets into blood sports 
with people that she kind of knows or knows, right? Mm -hmm. She knows me to a certain degree. She knows Maggot to a certain degree. Excuse me. She knows Badwick to a certain degree. I don't know how well she knows Kaylee. She may know Kaylee more than I know, right? I, I don't know. You're going to say that very well. Okay, well, then that's fair. But my thing, though, is this, is that she's going to, Leia is going to apologize to the person that she feels may or may not have been more affected by the argument or whatever it may be. And again, that's just my perception of her. Now, does do do some people probably feel that she should have apologized to Kaylee? Yeah, then that's fair. That's fine. But that's up to her, though. You know what I mean? The apology that's is for Kaylee. It should go to Kaylee, not to Batleg. I get that, that and, but, but I get but, that. But here's the thing: is that Kaylee is not necessarily in the community, though. Okay, it doesn't but, matter. She's in Badwick. It doesn't matter it, though. Like, why would she? Why would she just okay, randomly DM a random person she's not friends with or again, doesn't have any again, but, with? Again, again, I'm I'm just looking at it from what mm. might be Leia's perception. Or I'm not speaking for Leia. Out, like she could have brought it up in that in that conversation last night. Right. It wasn't brought up. Right. Yeah. And Kaylee again, up, so. yeah, that's fair. That's well, fair she too. thought that and she again. thought that she already got the message. Like, why would she bring it back up to apologize? That's something well, she then if she thought she got the message, then it was her intention for Badwick to share those DMs. So why is she now mad that Kaylee knows Hold about on. it? Because it Kaylee sense. used it in a malicious on, way. Amber. She didn't use it as a way to fucking like, oh, well, actually, I did hear like Badwick said this and I appreciate it. She said, oh, I heard you're talking to my husband. Like, I've seen your DMs, even though she hasn't seen the DMs at all. It, it, it made it sound like... Though. She made, made it sound, it sound like it's, it's, Yeah, they made it sound like it was like very, uh, like it could have been like sexy or weird, and it was, but it wasn't so like that. That's what I but thought. I, again, that was. But, so but at the same, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But at the same time, though, with the back going to the the apology to Badwick instead of uh, Kaylee, right? Wouldn't it be the same like thing of like if I was trying to give like say uh, lamp criticism, and instead I go to Sailor and tell him all this shit about lamp that I feel like he should fix or go about differently, and then uh -huh. Sailor goes and tells lamp, and then I get mad at Sailor for telling lamp. When obviously I should have been well, out well, over there telling Lamp what I should be like, yeah. or like. Here's I, the thing, I, I though, right? Is yeah, that Lamp's it's, an and again, I got this. I got the same argument for when Leia said what she said about Mr. Huck that she should have gone to Mr. Huck. Okay, first mm -hmm. of all, she doesn't know Mr. Huck, and yeah. she's never talked to him personally. She's talked to me, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. here, but the but the comment she made wasn't at Mr. Huck. It was at you, and the comment she made was at Kaylee, not at Badwick. Yeah. But here's the thing, though, Ember, is that, again, I'm not speaking for Leia. I'm not. I'm really trying not to. But I'm looking at it from her perception. Is that she She may eventually, who knows if she will or not. If she does, she does. But, I, I again, I wasn't there. I can't speak to it. I just know from my history with Leia is that she really does try not to get into blood sports with people unless she knows that they can either handle it or she tries her best to maintain her, you know, her point, you know, whatever it may be. Again, I was not there. Mm. I didn't hear the call. So that's also part of it too, right? Is that I don't know what happened last night. I don't know what happened between her and Kaylee. So I can't speak to that, right. but I can only speak to what I know of Leia's character. And what I know is that yeah. she does try she does try her best to not get into blood sports if she can avoid it. Now, does she like to spurg out from time to time? Yes. Do I like to spurg out from time to time? She, yes. I will admit fully and freely admit it that I do. But mm. to the extent that Leia does, no, because I'm not Leia and she's not me. But we are both we are two different people. So I can't I'm not trying to defend anybody in this. I'm not trying to defend Kaylee. I'm not trying to defend Leia. I'm just saying from my point of view, because I know Leia better, that I think that she wasn't trying to do that. I think that it just happened, and it just it just went from there. That's what I think. The Personally, fact, from, yeah, from, from, I've from had the sound of it, anyway. like seeing Leia and right, right, right. and Kaylee like like separately get into blood sports with people. 
or like beef with people and like i think this just got like as like catastrophic as it did because they both have very similar like personalities in the way that they're both like headstrong, headstrong and yeah. like to yep. an extent mm-hmm. to an extent like stubborn and like refuse to back down and that just cult, you know that just kind of uh sets them up to clash heads in a way yeah because yeah, exactly. like like I if, also for don't instance, blame uh, you guys way. mentioned uh, Doug. Mm-hmm. When Kaylee went at Doug, he, you know, Doug's not as aggressive as Leia, and Doug at some point just fucking, you know, just said fuck this and left the uh, call. Yeah. And and just let you know let it be for a while. And eventually, you know, when things just kind of got uncomfortable with uh, Ka- whenever Kaylee came around. Like, uh, I think it was uh, Seth that had uh, just sat them down and just said, hey, you guys should just do, like, a one-on-one conversation and hash this out because it's getting, like, awkward whenever y'all are in the same, like, stream. Yeah. And they went and hashed that out. The other thing, though, I I, I think uh, on the other same token with that, though, too, is that with... That could have potentially happened... I think Taylor? both of them were. Yeah, because that usually. All yeah, I think both of them were. I don't. Blame the thing maybe. is, I don't remember if Leia was drinking because I know someone mentioned it before, but like right. I got in, I was in a VC I, with I Leia don't after know. that, and like she didn't. To me, she didn't appear drunk or anything like that. So and to me, again, wait, wait, not, kids are in a I'm not too sure. sure. And, and, and again, here here's my point though: is that again, I don't want to speak for Leia. Right, because that's the last thing that I want to do, yeah, and that's the last that. thing that she would want that that <laughs> that she would want to have happen. And I'm sure that Kaylee wouldn't want anybody to speak for her either, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And I get that, but my from my point of view though is that with Leia, from what I've learned and from what I've learned of her and from what I've seen of her, is that she doesn't want to get into blood sports unless or a spur or have a spur out as she calls it. Um, unless, you know, something comes up with it and she just keeps going with it or whatever, right? I've learned somewhat of her pattern, not fully, but I've learned somewhat of her pattern when it comes to situations like that. It just depends on the person, you know, but her, but her and I have came to an agreement that she thinks differently to a certain degree than I do. And I think differently to a certain degree than what I think of her or whatever, and that's how her and I have came to that mutual agreement shortly after that blood sports. We were both like, okay, we both think differently. We both think that we both are different people. Okay, we're going to move on. That's pretty much what happened. So mm. I don't know if that's going to happen with Kaylee or not. I don't know. But if her and Badwick got into an argument of some sort, then that's on them. Well, I, didn't I don't know, know anything that about happened. that. I didn't know that either. So if, <laughs> if her and Badaway got into it, and well, she the ended the call and, saying yeah. she was gonna burn the bridge and fuck them both, the and then she, she left. left the Discord. She even left yeah. the Discord. It was it was actually yeah. nuts. Like it, it, you you think I was like half Dude. asleep wasting listening to this. I was muted because I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna fall asleep with the headphone in, you know, chatting with homies. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I then like all this starts popping off and the fucking screaming in my ear. I'm like, holy shit! And yeah, it was pretty nuts. So, question to the panel, I wasn't then. aware of that. So, given Badwick's reaction, right? Did not, everything before that, right, was just spur of drama. The kids were a misunderstanding, rightfully so, you know, thinking back logically, right? It was just a big misunderstanding. But in that mm-hmm. moment, this is the question to yeah. the panel. If that was your kid and you heard just internet, you know, Spurgs talking about them in that way, it would you have acted the same way, too? Because I feel like I would have. For sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I probably wait, wait, would have exposed. The, what, what was the question that was? So the thing. So there? the thing with. Listen. Okay, I'll, I'll explain it. Back. Um. Doug. So basically, Badwick comes back into it, thinking mm-hmm. with the impression that someone's talking about his kid in a sexual manner. So coming in to ask Leia if she's doing that. So I'm not gonna lie. I would be extremely pissed. But the minute I get told by like multiple people that, yeah, no, that's not what happened. Like we were just wondering where the fuck there's moaning. We didn't know it was a kid. That was throwing up, because we just hear like we just hear a loud sound with like no oh. actual vocalization. So like, what would you do if you were the person that came into the call who with that said, information, thinking that? that? 
uh, I don't Kaylee. know who said it, but after they said like I, I I was just told to kick them, so I kicked them. I was the one who kicked them. So well, well I made I made the I mean, offhand yeah, jokes yeah, like I, I, what the I'm fuck's just... going on down there? Right? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, <laughs> are they are they fucking? And then like just an offhand comment because it, started the, tweaking, they were, they're like, but I, I, I think a lot of people Kaylee comes kid. back and. Yeah, like after that, you know, after the noise was heard, Flatley had made the joke, like, like right flatly, away. You know, like uh, Kaylee comes back, like Kaylee comes back and then explains that it was, uh, like, you know, her kid, like their kid uh, being sick and like wanting mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. And then it turned into like Kaylee just jumped straight to, like, you know, that, like, that people were implying that like something sexual about the kid which was just not really the case okay. to be honest well and that's kind of jumping the gun yeah. just a little yeah. bit yeah. Yeah. she also okay, had a I think that we thought heard... I done that with Doug hold as on, well hold on. when they beefed hold on because I think what she heard coming back was when Leia said um that's disgusting and I'm gonna hold that or I'm gonna use that I'm against, use them. against them yep. and I think Kaylee caught that part of it so it already felt predatory to her so she was just immediately jumping back in on the defensive at least that's how it looked to me yeah, yeah, but okay. when he explained okay. about it, I get that still doubles down. Like that's... she was even telling me that, oh well, that's what you were doing. Echo, you know, I know your mom doesn't love you. Like it's like fucking like this unreasonable yeah, personal shit her... because she doesn't want to be a mom. I get that. That's, that's she, she Amber, came back I get in that. at the I late get that end of the night. So there was just like I think it was just me, Echo, Cathonic. I think I yeah. don't know who else was in the call at that time, but she was just like saying, So you guys think it's funny to talk about my kid that way? And I was trying to explain to her, like, no, that that's not at all what happened. Like I, and I told her I was the one that said the joke, but she just kept talking over me. So I ended up server muting her and telling her like, "No, listen, you're being very, you're being very narcissistic right now, not hearing us out. It's not funny. I apologize. I meant the offhand joke. Your proximity to your mic was very far away, so we only caught little tiny blips, right? So we made the mm-hmm. offhand comment because it was just you and Badwick in that room before, right? And then Badwick disappeared, then you disappeared." So, you know, one can only assume what's going on. So through my imagination, I made the offhand comment. But she she was like, so you think it's funny that my kid throwing up is for your entertainment or something like that? I'm like, no, oh, we're Jesus. saying that's no, bad. No. And I said, I, again, once again, I apologize. That's not what it's about. You're misunderstanding. Again, she, but I, then I she started like Kaylee, wanted the, yeah. the one-up. She wanted the one-up. And then Echo chimed in. And she's had all this nasty stuff about Echo. It's like. No, like she just oh, wanted boy. to win that argument. And I'm assuming it was because one, it was her kid, so she was already infuriated. Two, she was already drinking. So there's that. So we ended up just disconnecting her from the call altogether, and she never came back. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Here, so I'm thinking, like I, I, later I on, later no, on, she's she probably gonna realize that after... it was. Oh, was that gone? No, she came back like late, very late in the night, like after a lot of you guys had left. I think it was like me, Matt Pitt. Bad dog and oh, like a yeah, few other hard. people, and Matt Pitt oh, was man. asking like what had happened in the second half of that. We kind of give it gave him the rundown, and Kaylee joined in the middle of that. For oh, a minute, um, I don't think I was there for like that. Badwick and Kaylee had joined in the middle of that. Red, but, uh, I'm like, sorry, like Flatley. What? I'm wow. sorry, Flatley. Can you add Rev Pidgey and the Grims list to the call? I can't. Oh, they gotta. Well, they, don't, they gotta raise their. They hands. have to uh, request. request coin, yeah, they, yeah. They have to request. Coin bucket. But so. yeah, like the jumping the gun about like talking about the kids thing. Uh, Kaylee had uh, done that with Doug too when yeah. they were beefing. Like Doug hadn't yeah. said anything like about the, the kids at all. Too. Like uh, Doug, you could explain this better since you were the one okay. in that. Yeah, but... I really feel like you're pulling that one out of context, though, and like I don't want to throw you under the bus, Doug. But <laughs> outside of context, what? Yeah, because you're saying that she brought the kids up like just out of the blue, and that's just really not the case because. Her bringing the kids up was relevant to the comment that Doug made. I didn't make no comment. You, t- you, th- what you said to Badwick in DMs. I didn't say anything to him in DMs. I you never said did that. say something to Badwick in DMs. What did he say? Yeah, but I, I, if I remember right, that DM wasn't specifically mentioning her her kids, right? No, it was. It, no, it DM. was that Doug uh, DM'd Badwick that he should leave Kaylee, and so she I brought never up said that. Whoa, wait, 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 no, Badwick has even said that Whoa. Doug hasn't said that. I even asked him that like a day or two ago. Oh that was God. yeah, that was debunked. 
Ember, no, uh, that was never said. No, if well, if I was okay, saying, if I oh, hold on, hold on, like, hold on, hold on. This is how Badwick like that, explained it to like me directly. Right. So let me go DM Badwick and see if I'm wrong because, like, Ember, I mean, it's possible that was mistold. Yeah, yeah, it is possible that it was mistold. But Ember, could it? And I'm gonna try to say this in the nicest way possible, and I'm really not trying to be mean. But could it be that your bias is a little bit towards Kaylee? Well, I mean, if we're all not on well, your side, yeah, I think I we need someone. No, yeah. Like that, I stated that at the beginning of this call, so relevance. Well, I'm just, I'm just asking because if true. he, if, if, if Doug doesn't say that he didn't do that, which I, which so again, I, I'm what, saying that the information that I got was from the horse's mouth. So okay. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check with Badwick and make sure that I'm the one misunderstanding that. Okay. I'm gonna double. It might have been in, in the last Wall Smashers episode where I asked him. So I don't fuck. It might have just been in a VC. I don't remember. Well, okay. It, if because I, remember, I did bring it up to him to ask him if that was the case. If I'm remembering the DM right, it was something along the lines of Kaylee is mistreating you, or like she's being. You shouldn't let her treat you like that, or something like that, right? Where'd Doug go? And, I have and it, no idea. Of course he left. And, and of course the, he left. I don't blame him. Left. In that was I don't like, blame was, him either. I'm not going to lie. Because I think he also agreed like, not to talk up. about it anymore either. Or maybe that he just doesn't like to talk about it. I don't know. That well, could have been it too. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't bring it up, so. No, yeah, yeah no, fuck no. Fuck you, you, Lamp. Didn't. Fuck you, Lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Lamp brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just something I noticed, like, before, though. Like, it's just an observation. Like, well, that, I mean, it, I, well, it, my, like, my rebuttal to that, kids, though, right? right? Because like, I would get heated if someone was talking about my kids. But Kayla yeah. obviously set the tone that whatever you do and say Listen. will be used against you. So would it be wrong Listen. for anyone to use the kids as ammo now? Because it obviously grinds her gears so much. And that's what Kayla looks for as a win in an argument. To grind the other person's Listen. gears hard. Listen, no, I'm a mother too. Okay to go after someone's kids ever. I agree. I am a mother too. I agree with that. Okay, I am a mother too. I, I have an eight shit, year old. Bro. I'm not gonna cap. I am. I have an eight year old daughter upstairs. Okay. Holy if shit! If someone were to, yeah, she's eight, which is hard to believe. I know. Um, I have an eight year old daughter upstairs. If someone were to bring in my daughter into a blood sports, I would probably go ape shit too. Okay? I can't blame anybody for that, right? Let alone Kaylee. If it were me or anybody else in this community. Oh yeah. If a child if anybody's child got brought in to a blood sports for any reason whatsoever, I would be on the defense one hundred percent. Okay? Mama Bear would be coming out in full force. Mama Mama Bear K Hug would be coming out in full force. All right, let's just put it that put it that way. But uh, again, I don't know what was said last night. I don't know what happened last night. I don't know. I just caught the like the middle part or the end part of the argument about taxes. That's all they caught. So that I I don't know the rest mm. of it, but. If I were to listen to it and be able to evaluate it myself and form an opinion, then I can. But I just, I don't know what happened last night, so I can't speak to it. So I that's want all to say. upload that call, but I feel like I should ask Kayla and Leia if I can do that because I feel like they mm -hmm. were both inebriated. I, I agree with that. You that know stuff what I mean? was I agree. Emotional. I agree. I, I, agree. I, I would ask, yeah. Or at least like, just yeah. cut out the. The part where it leads up to the kids, because everything before that was just oh, them I agree. calling them each other dumb bitch, dumb bitch, dumb bitch. Well, okay, I think too that, that me um... and Zylie's blood sports. Yeah, I that was bad. <laughs> you and Zylie's blood sports was the best. Oh, oh, I know, no, that, what they did last night was worse than what me and Zylie did to each other. That shit was bad. <laughs> Ember, this is like yeah, fifth grade Ember, playground Ember, talk, bro. Ember, I'm just Ember. I'm just saying. I listened to that blood sports just recently, and I was dying the entire time <laughs> because of just how it happened and just everything in between. The the blood sports that happened between you and Zylie. Oh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that, that that's what made me love the both of you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think that that's what made me love the both of you even more. Riley and I are both like 10 toes down when you piss us off. So there was there. It was an equal match there for us to scream at each other. Wait, like, what does that, that mean? That what the sports. fuck? What does oh ten God, toes down sports. mean? Okay, wait, wait. Wasn't <laughs> I'm trying to remember this. Wasn't there? Uh, I don't know if it was in the at the end of the blood sports or something, but wasn't there a part where like Zylie and you started getting like really emotional and you guys like a girl moment or something? Oh, no, at the end of it, we were like, at the end of it, I think we were like, okay, Matt, you don't have to publish that because we got it off our chest and we're good now. And then he like raged. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I yeah, remember. Yeah, it was yeah, yep. Yep. Yep, yep. It was on yeah, Zylie's like, stream. We screamed at each other for like an hour, and then we were like, okay, we're good. It was good. on the recording. It was on not recording, because they both of them were going at each other, and then towards the end of it, Ember and Zylie both were like, okay, yeah, we're both done. <laughs> oh my god, do you guys not know the lore for this? So the vi the I episode remember. wasn't supposed to come out, and then Bunny paid now recording $500 to release the episode. Bunny W. I do! I know this! I know this! Yeah, that's I don't know why they made it why... so low. That's why they that's, probably think, thought no one would ever donate five hundred dollars, and Bunny well, said, "Hold my beer." But Ember, I told you right. But Ember, I told you this. I think I told you this in like a like one of our first Twitter Spaces that 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 blood sports that happened between the both of you made me like want to watch the both of you even more because of just your personalities with it and everything. It was great. <laughs> it's a classic. Oh, I mean, what can... feral, like absolutely feral. It's a classic. It's a classic blood sports. I it's mean, what can you funny looking back. Like it's, funny now. It's, it's hilarious now, but I'm sure it is now. But looking back on it now, now keep in mind that I was still a listener and I was still a chatter at the time. But if I were, but again, I've listened. I've listened back to the blood sports that I had with like Leia and stuff like that, and I just laugh because I'm like, oh my god, we both sound so silly. <laughs> I know I did. I know I sounded super stupid, but that's just me. That's probably the case in most blood sports. Is you go back and listen to it, and everybody sounds like a fucking retard. Oh, I was dying laughing when I heard me and Leia's blood sports. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I even had Mr. Huck listen to it too, and I'm like, am I the only one that finds this funny? Because <laughs> I just, I just find it really funny. <laughs> Yeah, I went back and, like, you know, watched through all the World War Huggy stuff a while ago. Mm. I think I told you about this uh, K-Huck when I watched it because I messaged you and said it was funny as hell. Yeah, it is. It is. It is like, funny. Yeah. No, you did! You it did! Was, it, yes! It, it, you... Yeah, it was funny as hell. Like, you know, I had it to go back funny. and watch through all that because that was, like, part of, that was commentary lore that I missed while I was gone. Oh, it is Doug's funny. back! And... Doug! It is Hi, funny to listen to. Hey, buddy, what's up, Doug? It, you know what? It, hold on. It, a lot can happen in a, a month, a month or, or two months, three months, four months, yeah. whatever. Oh, you know, no, a, a, no. a lot a lot can happen in that time frame, right? And yeah. it's just it's just funny to listen back to because you're like, what the hell were you thinking and doing? Like, it's just so funny. <laughs> it just it cracks me up. Because it's just, I don't know. It's just funny to me. It's hilarious. Because I'll have, you know, I will I will bring up, like, an old stream of mine. um, Like, with, uh, oh, shoot. What was I thinking of? Like, with uh, Milltown. Milltown's a great example, right? Like, the, the stream that we did with Milltown, like, ratioing him and all that. And I look back on it and I laugh. <laughs> because of the different things that came up with that and all that. It's just funny. <laughs> super funny it's just i don't know we're we're weird also know. before we go forward there uh doug i'm sorry if i brought any discomfort to no, you bringing you that just stuff up but it's kind of it's, it's not yeah, it was just yeah it's just kind of relevant yeah it was just kind of relevant and like yeah, I know you know i know what you're doing but yeah. I, I, every and i have stated i never said leave her i never said that and that's what I've been. That's I just want to clarify that. Oh, it's Badwick and Haley. Yeah, Badwick's totally. He deserves way better. All right, that fucking liberal fucking hey. ruining Badwick. Okay, Badwick Frick? needs a bitch. Frick? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> no, I'm mute. You say some true shit. 
<laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brick, you'll be uh, unmuted if you promise to behave. Stop. He's also, Brick, we are on YouTube. <laughs> We're not on Kick, so uh, be careful. Oh, oh, wait, so what can I say on YouTube? I can't say. I can't. Uh, no showing gay porn for one. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of them. So yeah, we all we all had to come to that stipulation too, and it's like hard. Stop not to... muting Brick. Stop muting Brick. Let him talk. Yeah, let yeah let him cook this, Tom. As long as he doesn't say anything talk. super you crazy. All right, look, oh. Oh. <laughs> already was that, a, was that a good idea? Already God, fucked man, it up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me let me handle this. Hold on, hold on. Freedom, <laughs> Guys, hold on, hold on. Let me handle this. You fucking mods Brick. are the the gayest Brick. and the nicest way. Brick! Brick, what did I tell you about the mods in here? I've already <laughs> explained this to you. You need to be good. Brick, Please. You, Brick, Brick it's versus okay K to be Brick gay. It's 2024, okay? It's okay to be gay, mods. It's fine. <laughs> we support you. It's the it's the love month, okay? It's the black month. Black month. You should be able to be playing gay black porn. Any what? <laughs> oh, he's no, fine. He was cooking. He was cooking. Anywhere you want. He's fine. And if you, he's uh, if fine. You don't like gay. If you don't like black, then I think you're a bigot. You know, that's all I have to say about that. God bless that's, America. I think, I think that's all. That's I, fair. Pretty good. Okay. Thank you, Brick. You got anything else, Brick? Mods <laughs> are fucking. Hey! Hey! What? What? I, they're hey. fantastic. That's Thank the word you. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking... Anyway. Break, Break my hand is hovering over that timeout button. Just keep going, buddy. Whoa, 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 Break. whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't... Hey, no, 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 no. Brick, no, no, no. no, no, no. All right. No, Brick, no. Brick, what's He's your stance fine. on uh, Darcy Evans? Darcy Evans? Um, uh -oh. I hate Troons. I mean, um... <laughs> oh, my God. I hate Looney Tunes. I hate Looney Tunes. <laughs> Um, I think that Darcy Evans is perfectly sane. I think having listened to that whole thing for four fucking hours and it wrapping up to being literally nothing other than the like the laziest suicide baiting attempt and or suicide attempt that I've ever fucking heard. Like, <laughs> has anybody heard just driving off a fucking bridge? Like, there's way better like. <laughs> Like a fucking tree? Come on, man. <laughs> well, there was a tree. There was a tree. It kissed oh it. Oh my god. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Did we get any? Hold on. Did, besides the hospital pics from like when they managed to mysteriously grow a mustache in a day and a half. Okay. Um, like, did we get pictures of the totaled car? Yeah. We got one. Oh, just a front part. Yes. Yeah, there no, was a picture of the car. How how bad how bad was it? Looked like it was going less than ten miles an hour. I fucking, I, I almost killed myself driving a car. Okay? It just looked like a like and a quick fender bender. It didn't look like super Rick, serious. I'll post it in the was. side chat for you. Was here. the car fucking totaled? No, Rick, no, no. It chat was cosmetic only. It didn't even touch the engine block, bro. Maybe you might have to replace the radiator at the front. Maybe. Yeah, the bumper's not even it. caved in. Yeah, in. the bumper's not even caved in, dude. Uh, that's that's a Holden. That's that's a fucking shame. That's what that looks like a fucking like a Pontiac G8. Hold on, one second. Can someone bring uh, Pidgey in, please? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Pidgey's, Pidgey's hand is green. That means Pidgey I just told him. Uh, he, he joined I'm and gonna, left. So I'm gonna get heading out, guys. Happens? You guys have a great night. Thanks for no, having me. I'm gonna have a terrible night. Don't tell me what to fucking do. With Number my two. Life. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Die. Thank you. Uh, did we figure out why they want to? You know, you know what I mean? Because I mean, I don't um, care no. about like. First of all, that's Hold not on. bad that's not bad enough to fucking like put you in the hospital. Hold on. I, I, yeah, I have a question. Rev, I have... wife accused them of SA. I, I have well, a question. That wasn't for Rev. the case that I found out later. That was they just he was just like a fucking mooch who fucking stayed too long and was like Wait, crying Rick. over everybody. What? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I, mean, that's, I have that's a question. Correct. He's correct. <laughs> but Brick, uh I have a question for Rev. Hey, hey Rev. Oh, Hello, what do you want? I'm kidding. <laughs> you better be. God damn, you Son of a, let's go. Like that. He gave some lip. Um, hi, Rev. Um, I, I don't know if you know me or not, but uh, my name is Kay Huck. How are you? I'm good. I've heard oh, of you. Before. I've seen you. Uh, fuck so. that fight. Fuck that. <laughs> Rev um, thinks K-Huck's so... voice is annoying. K-Huck thinks Rev's a piece of shit for leaving his. All right, go fight, fight. 
Fight. Let's go. <laughs> oh, let's go. Come on. I'm ready. No, fuck you, I will kick you up and down this street anyway. Ooh, um, but you take he, that road? but <laughs> let it go. Let no, go. I I have a question. So, how long of a history do you have with Darcy? Um, I would have to say probably around July last year. <laughs> oh, okay. And was your now? <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but was well, in the call that going. happened, in the call that happened, in the in the Badwicks Discord the other night, right? Like last week or so. Was one of the people in there your ex-wife? Is that right? Mm. Yes. Okay. I thought so. Get married. Hmm? Okay. So you have a. <laughs> so how was she? Again, please forgive me because I don't fully know. How is how are you and her involved with him? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kayak. Speed oh my god. god. Okay. No, yeah. This leads to my um, next question. Shut up. This leads to my next question. Shut up. Let me cook. Let me cook. So there's a lot of lore behind that and a lot of details behind that. And honestly, I don't really want to get into it. Boom. Okay. Question okay. answered. Okay. Next okay. question. Okay. With, <laughs> with that, well, would that explain why you both were so hard on him in that call? I guess. Hard on. Ew. Because he's a lying piece of shit forehead. and he's Hard deceived on. both of us. So. Hard on. Hard on. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm sorry, K Hawk. I'd be on your level, but I'm sober tonight. So I'm, if I'm. All right. All right. Rev, did you that, have some sort yeah. of. Rev, did you have some sort of swinger relationship with Darcy? No, Amber. No. Was there any. No, that's not what I was asking. No what I was going on? Who's fucking? What what I was trying to figure <laughs> out was fuck Darcy, like, did Darcy fuck Rev? Did uh, did Mrs. Rev fuck Darcy? I, that's what we want to know. We want the juicy details. Um, I'm gonna say it's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. We all that's need to absolutely know. Absolutely yes. That is an we absolutely yes. Know. That is a yes. I, okay. So that is not what I was going say, with. Basically, what Nobody happened was that there was no sex involved. Is Darcy um, a good dick? Is what we're trying to figure out. That's. Oh my god. <laughs> no, the thing was that. Yeah, that you DM me Darcy... that fucking question. You're gonna throw me into the. Wait, you. there's no sex. <laughs> no, was, was no, fucking. Um, no, it wasn't even an essay claim. Darcy no, just Rev, assumed that was the, not my question. What, uh, oh, Darcy just. What, oh, what that's what about. happened, and that's what Broadsword was telling us. Or, oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Darcy Rev, just inferred it was as Rev, oh, okay, I got it. That was not my question. My question was just simply why do you think that Darcy got as much heat as he did in that call and you and your ex were a part of it and I wasn't sure because again, I wasn't there for like the beginning part of it. Oh. So that's why I was just curious as to how you and your ex were involved with it. But again, if you didn't want to get in too deep into it, then that's fine. I was just curious because Wait. again, I wasn't there for the beginning part of it, and I don't know the full Dar Darcy lore. Jeez, that's also know. part of it too. The doxing lore. <laughs> what? You mean the okay. Darcy? A so pretty much what it came down to, just a brief synopsis, Darcy had a major crush on me, and I put a stop to it, Ooh. set boundaries, like, mm -hmm. no, from the outset, I don't want anything to do with this, I'm not looking, I don't, no, nothing, nothing intimate whatsoever, or any right. of that nature in that regards. Okay. Because I don't, I don't swing that way. Right. And um, basically what it came Your down unicorn. to is that he ended up slipping into my ex-wife's DMs, and then it just kind of escalated and went from there. So outside of that, further details based upon that situation and that conversation, I don't want to get into because it gotcha. involves my personal life. So Gotcha. Okay. No, again, I was just, again, I was just wondering how the both of you were in, were somewhat involved. That's all. That's it. So, Rev's got that's fine. Riz. That's fine. Let's go that's trans fine. Riz. No. <laughs> no. Fuck you, Riz. <laughs> That's making me feel gross. <laughs> and no, Pidgey, that is I'll not true. Trans I'll tell you what we won't have no, on, on the Riz off. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm getting called All out right. by Mr. Pigeon Salad. Wait, this what is I more say? questions. 
This is more questions than she usually asks for interviews. No, it is not. And this you is, know yes, that it's not. Yes, yes, it very is. much no, is. These are way no, more detailed. No. So how was your day no. today? What made you want to start YouTube, you little cutie? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, ask, I'll ask the question for Kayhawk. All right, you and Dark. Okay, goodbye. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. no. Yeah, that's what we want to know. We want the um, details. So you I got a statement from details? Leah. She wants me to read. Goodbye, you guys all have a great night. I'm out. No, <laughs> you can't leave now. Oh, you can't can leave think? now. You're the lion's den. Hold on. You can't leave. You're the co host. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you think I leave what every time I get bullied on the internet? Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sometimes, I'm just the I'm one here. time, actually, yeah, all the well, time. I'm kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm here. Wait, right, who's right, got right, the I statement? Got a statement from Leia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Did you get to tell uh, her to KYS ourselves? Um. Let's go. Let's that's only halfway back. through. It should be that bad. All right. So this is from Leia something. Um, the mm -hmm. one and only statement I'm going to say about the blood sports with Kaylee and Badwick. I never spoke about their kids in the first place. Kaylee kept bringing it up. Kaylee was the only one that was drunk, and I was completely sober. I don't care that Badwick shared my DM, uh, shared DMs with his wife. I hate the fact that Badwick's wife used it against me. I made the implication that the DMs were flirty. Both people are cut off and are completely donezo. This is the one and only statement I make. I just don't like that there is a narrative out there that I brought Kaylee's kid into the mix. It's completely not true. Um... That's, uh, fuck it. I guess I'm saying this. Uh, Ember Lily is messy as hell. I'm not going to approach Badwick's wife privately because I don't have her contact information. I am not going to apologize because someone's feelings got hurt when I call them a dumb cunt. Uh, girl pair. Both people are cut off and are completely done. So this is, uh, the one and only statement I make. Why did she say that twice? Hold on, hey, hold on. The only statement she made well, twice. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> hold on. Damn, that's fucked. <laughs> Oh, I don't care that oh. that. Oh, it's Seth. Why, was this oh, Seth Ryan. That wasn't yeah. fantastic. What you said. It's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. I just saw. Why the fuck yep. did she make me read it out? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. You know, I less good. You just own me. <laughs> uh, oh wait, I'm work smart. Be... Hey, Echo, work smarter, not harder. Okay. Exactly, no, the fucked up bro. part is she she took out the the error out of it too. So this still her, the, what she posted is <laughs> yeah, more accurate. Not... <laughs> Dude, she made me look stupid. <laughs> Dude. This motherfucker's illiterate, bro. You can't read. <laughs> so she's cut. Oh, so she cut off Badwick too. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, she did at the end of the call. <laughs> Wait, this is different from what you just read. Wait, is it? You're no, right. it's not. So, it's the middle, is, the middle part this... where she says both people are cut off and are completely done. So this is the one and only statement I make. That middle part isn't there. I just don't like that. The end. There is a narrative out there that I brought Kaylee's kids in the mix. It's completely not true. Ember Lily is messy as hell. I'm not going to approach Badwick's wife privately because I don't have her contact information. I'm not going to apologize because somebody's feelings got hurt when I call them a dumb cunt. Grow a pair. Both people are cut off and are completely done. So this is the one and only uh, statement I make. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay. God bless America. Yeah, you you kind of missed out on uh, more blood sports last night, Brick. That's what's oh, uh, was going missed. on here. Yeah, this it shit was fire, fire sports, bro. bro. It was Wait, so, fire. Sports. It, so, it was too uh, fucking personal. Uh, That's what ended up happening. wife that uh, everybody loves, apparently, according to this uh, Twitter <sighs> post, uh, yeah. implied that Leah was being flirty. Oh, no, that's what um, we all thought no. when she said, she was like, I saw you DM my husband or something like that. It was like implied. It was almost maybe she didn't make mean to make it like sound like that, but like I that's, don't think that's, that's, that's what I that picked up. That it was flirty, but that's what I. The implication could be made given that statement, but that's up for I interpretation. Need to, I need to listen to this. Call. Okay, so I have another statement to read out um, from <laughs> Seth. Um, she says, oh, "My no. statement: I did good, and I will keep harassing women online." Okay. Yay, we Seth. Need <laughs> we need to cancel Seth. I hate Seth. No, Seth, you do not. Filthy... No, you don't. No. Okay. Seth... Shut up. Shut up, Brick. You do not. Whatever. I just want to say bad words. <laughs> I'm calling How, you what, out. What, no, you do what, not. What channel are we on? If I say the, if I say a few choice words, who am I? What kind of choice You're words? You're on YouTube. Like, you know when you're kicking a soccer ball? 
right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but yeah, like yeah, instead cooking. of kicking the soccer ball, like a big scary Jew monster comes out and then you <laughs> oh drop the stick and add D, you know? Like Frick! then you're forced to you can't kick the ball, but you kick <laughs> let the, him cook. You kick the, the circle. The Yiddish term for circle is keikel. You know, see, yeah, do you want him to cook? Good idea. It is cook, I'm cook, educating cook. people on it. And no, Yiddish, you don't know Yiddish? He's cooking, hold on. He's the, cooking, the hold on. Called, well, no, the reason no, 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 and then a lot of the Eastern European Jews, you know, the ones that allegedly like ate babies and stuff like that and got pogged oh, yeah. times for no reason at all. Come on, uh, they came over and then the, they used to wear the big fucking hats. And so the, the, the rich Jews would go and they made up a slur for them. The Jews made a slur for the Jews oh, and they call them like circle heads, which would be like keikel heads. And then eventually oh, over the time, what, the what's L the got point stopped. of this? It's What's history, Doug. It's history. I didn't ask for it. <laughs> you know, you Doug, are you Jewish? Past, okay. If you don't learn from the past, you no, learn to I do don't, it no, again in the future. No, I'm not learning history <laughs> from you. Well, then what? So what? You just the Alamo too. Coming to a Texas near you. Doug, Doug, are you Jewish? I'm not Jewish. Oh, but why does your just, dragon knight have a Jewish a, hat? Yeah, you're just a uh, another oh, no, white a man mind. getting offended on another racist religious <laughs> from the hat. Wait, my bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crown, not a Jewish cap. No. Yeah, yeah, a yarmulke, bro? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, a Jewish cap. <laughs> it's just a, a little party hat. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, AJ? How you doing, bro? You didn't have a cap, dog. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Uh, I just want to say that I disavow everything that I say. Uh, just before I say it, <laughs> my uh, words are not of my own opinion. <laughs> yeah, they're not. I'm I'm demonically possessed by a Jew monster because I couldn't kick uh, kick him. And, oh my god! I didn't say <laughs> it. It's, it's the Jew yeah, monster. You did. I had matzo ball soup oh, the other day. It's Mel it's on the mic. It's like, Darcy. It's, it's Darcy Evans cousin's Mel on the mic for Brick right now. Like, damn it. It's not me. I don't know. Anyway, oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Anyway, oh, oh uh, hey, welcome I back. Disavow, I want to disavow Darcy, okay? Um, because I think they are mentally ill. Uh, you know, trying to switch genders like that is a sign of mental oh illness. God. I mean, <laughs> go by DSM-10, okay? Not the current DSM. Oh, my and- God, Based Frick. upon how, you know, you would classify these so things, cute. it's so not cute. unexpected that they would go and then, like, 41% <laughs> of the time, you would think they would do this, yeah. you know? Yeah. 41% of the time. Jesus. Jesus. My God. I don't, think the gen- I don't think the gender was the problem oh here. I think it was the I behavior. Think that <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> Eventually what are they doing for the 59 and others? He's saying, he's saying um, lots of truthful stuff Rick, for that. No! Like, up, are you a 41 percenter, Brick? I'm trying to save them from the 30, I mean the 60 other percent. Whatever, I don't. I, <laughs> the 60 the other percent? You mean 59, bro? I'm not, I'm the not, number is no! 59. Give it a few years. <laughs> Let him right. cook. He's saying a lot of truth stuff tonight. Brick W. I don't, I don't know. A lot of truth uh, stuff? My, my lawyer is before me. Stuff. I should shut up. Oh, fucking uh, illiterate. <laughs> I, I, and my lawyer, I love him. My lawyer, Jaime. Okay, he's me and him go way back Jaime to Yiddish school. Whoa, no, no, Jaime Davenstein. I mean, uh, no, I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, Jaime Cuban. Jaime Cuban. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> what? You guys know that Mark Cuban? What? What? Are you hi, done? Hi, Kayhawk. Hi. Hi. Omg, hi, yeah. Kayhawk. Hey. So, Wow, Kev didn't happened. say hi to anyone else. I know, right? Unbelievable. No, no, she said okay. hi to me. Racism. That's all that matters. So fuck you, Echo. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Hi, Echo. Hi, Flatly. Hi, well, Lamb. Hi, Susan right, Taylor. Look, I, I just want to... Hi, Rev. Hi, Burn. Hi, Brick. Hi, Pidgey. Hi, Grimses. Hi, Drugs. 
I there you go. Wow, there Doug you go. can't even hear you. Wow, wow. Wow. Because I understand, look, I understand that you didn't like that I was posting a fish tank aftermath, you know, somebody who was on no, fish tank. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, Gingy, I did not appreciate Gingy, that. No. Hey, look, Gingy, he's, he was, you know, he's normalizing sex <laughs> work. I forgot sex work. that's why you were banned before. <laughs> yeah, he's normalizing Never. sex work. He's, look, we need to stop shaming people for their small Japanese penises. Okay, and if you watched Fish Tank, he said, "Bye." <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I wanted to know I what he said. Him. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about small Japanese penises. I don't fucking know. Bring him back in. Bring him no, back in. Oh wow, small actually, Japanese yeah. penises. Suddenly, <laughs> KX interested. Look, what the fuck? I think you what guys. The hell? You guys, <laughs> the hell you guys are prudish. Okay. <laughs> Yiddish. And I, I think that yeah, my British, Jewish friends. Dog. Okay. Would love to have more of that. Okay, we need more of that. We need more porn in the Discord. We need more porn right. on Twitter. <laughs> get it on TV. What? 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 Look, look. All I'm saying is censorship law. <laughs> Stop muting. I like how he said censorship law and immediately got muted. Yeah, wait. Yeah, Did the yeah, sister Taylor on his right. donor arc? Yeah. Who's 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 doing this? Huh? Who's doing it's this? Not me. I'm the. I'm muting you. Uh, so who's muting me? Who's the who's the, uh, look? This is the tip of the iceberg. I want to know where the rest of the fucking bergs are in this chat. Who's muting me? All right, <laughs> not me. Lamp. No. The tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Lamp is. It ain't me. I'm Whoa. on mobile, dude. Oh, then it's got to be grim. I'm on mobile. I don't even know no. how to do it on mobile. Uh, are you on the floorboards? Not right? me. Why would I want to mute? Grims. Oh. Why would Grims I want to list? mute? Grims list. Why would oh. I want to mute? Well, there's only Grims. one other mod. Well, there's only one of them. Not me. Schindler's List? I don't know. That was a terrible movie. That was a fucking terrible movie. You watched anyway. that? Oh, my God. What? No, of course not. <laughs> I watched that. All right, anyway. Yeah, anyways. he was making a list. He didn't even check flatly, twice. Flatly basically kicked you. I didn't kick wow, him. Wow, that's messed up. All I wanted to say is because I was, look, that, I don't even care about that. Like that, if you guys are prudish, all I was saying, Shinji said on Fish Tank, that he thinks he has a small, he always thought in his life he had a small penis, but then he did porn and then it helped him build confidence because it showed. Then he had HIV. Why did you keep doing that, uh, Flutley? That's not me. Wait. I'm not I, it actually I wasn't Flutley. Right I'm look, I was looking. To silence me. All right. I was looking at the screen. It wasn't Flutley. He said what the fuck? that seeing himself in another light helped him, you know, reflect and build confidence on himself. Now, I understand if you don't understand the art in that, you know, like censored Japanese penises. However, I understand the mod action to silence me then, not now. Right now, you guys are all being fucking. <laughs> And I think that you should. Oh stop my doing god, it. Victor Burns, what the fuck? You had the worst type Christ. of all time. <laughs> Jesus the point is, I'm not mad about the other stuff. I'm mad about the other memes, specifically the one about Zyklon B. Did you know that Zyklon B, when you get cyanide poisoning, chamber. it turns your it turns your skin cherry pink. Did you know that? Yeah. Any cyanide poisoning will turn your skin cherry pink. And there is apparently, I, I didn't do that much research on it. Just a little cursory. Almost no accounts of that happening. Like, you think that would be like, you know, because they, you know, you, everybody read Night with Elliot Wiesel. You know, you read the diary and Frank, you know, you read all these things. Never was it mentioned, you know, you hear these horrible things, the stench of the, you know, what did they, that, wait, we were supposed to read that? I just laughed at it. I, yeah, was, I thought I it was a comedy, I, bro. The boy in striped pajamas. It. I enjoyed. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was. All right, I got a hot take about the boy in striped pajamas. Look, all I'm saying if you're is, that dumb, why did you, you should that? die. Who's try, why are you trying to? I hate you. You said the last <laughs> If you're that dumb, <laughs> this motherfucking kid was so clueless, bro. Like, if, 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 yeah, the boy in striped pajamas was dead. Wait, stupid, wait, that was a sad movie. The little Nazi kid died. The Nazi kid died because he was too stupid, and the Jew kid convinced him to come over to the other side so he can also get killed, bro. He conned him. Once again, Look, Jews at it again. <laughs> all, I'm saying, all I'm saying is, I'm glad the Holocaust happened. Jesus Christ! What the Israel fuck? wouldn't exist. What the fuck, bro? What yeah, the sorry fuck? about your channel, Flatley. What it's the gone. fuck? Gotta go. All right, about, Flatley, about, I'm about, gonna about, go. About. Brick the please. God, shit, brick. <laughs> Brick's gonna All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm I gotta head out actually. The night is young. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think you can handle it by yourself or are you okay? I got lamp. Don't worry. 
Not lamp. Are you, you sure that you got everything else? Are you sure? Yeah. I'm good. If I I'm head good. out, I'm okay. Good. I'm good. All right, guys. Well, I'm sorry, but I gotta, I gotta end it because Take I gotta care, work okay. tomorrow. But, but, uh, lamp, you keep, you keep, uh, everybody in check. I guess you're in charge. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I gotta head right, out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flatley's the host. Yeah, okay, uh, <laughs> see him. That's what I'm saying. Is that Flatley and Lamp? You two keep everybody in check. That's what That's I said. This is it. And Ember yes, has I a green hand. I didn't hear the smiling part. All right. I did that for her. That was awesome. Thank you, K-Hug. <laughs> I don't know how long we're going to be there. Anyways, moving on. Guys, how do we heal after this Darcy Evans debate? Because I think I think the best way to do it, if I'm going to be frank, I'm going to be frank with y'all. Is vertical, not lateral? All right, hold up. Man. Fuck Darcy Evans right now. All right, but I, I don't want to be revved. It's a tree. I just want to go and make sure that my words are not taken out of context when I say that I'm glad the Holocaust Jesus. It's over. Oh, Holy that's so over. Over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ember Lily, Ember <laughs> Lily has so a over. green hand. Ember, could someone bring Ember, Ember in? I invited her to speak. I thought if they had a... Yeah. Okay. Um, The only thing I want to say, honestly, is that I say we just excommunicate Darcy, period. Not give him the... I mean, just the ignore Darcy. Like, yeah, just... Whatever. Not, like, block or kick them from communities, but just fucking ignore Darcy. That's literally what you do, because it's like if you kick Darcy, like, he's going to come back with a vengeance and try even harder. So if we just ignore him and just fucking disregard him, it'll, it, you know, like Hugin, it'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we kind of already ignore Hugin. We could just do the same thing. Who the fuck is Hugin? Uh, some like some British exactly guy, some, some British guy. I'm and confused. I'm tired. You guys muted yeah. me. <laughs> now it makes it seem like I agreed with the Holocaust when you muted me right there. So <laughs> oh I think God. that's, oh that's really God. messed up. Okay, I just want to say Ugh. the numbers are unbelievably horrible. Okay, I just think that it's yeah. Brick is gr good. grateful for Israel. Yes, yeah, exactly. he's grateful for Jewish Israel. People have the right to self-determine who they want to genocide off the map, and if it's the Palestinian people, it's the Palestinian. God bless. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's not what I was uh, getting to. That's but kind of, no, yeah. no, 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 he was cooking. He was cooking. Hold They're on. God's chosen people. You know, if if they get threatened, <laughs> they have the right to respond with disproportionate amount of force to stop the threat. And if seventy percent of all people in Palestine support Hamas, well, then seventy percent of all Palestinians got to, you know. Oh my I mean? God. That look <laughs> mowing the lawn. It's I didn't make up the term. I didn't make up the term. Look it up. Look up mowing the lawn, and it's not mm. what you're. Mexican gardener does. Okay. <laughs> wow, I took offense to that. Ember, let him cook. You don't know. Lawn. You don't know lawn. I, I look. I'm not gonna say why I know you don't mow lawns, but I mean, like, it's not like, <laughs> whatever. whatever. Anyway, anyway, uh, I think the Darcy Evans situation is fantastically horrible. Okay, uh, it's funny uh, out of context. I agree. Uh, but I mean, Rev, why why would you invite an Australian person to your house? First of all, I mean that's your fucking biggest mistake. Like I, I, I've already owned up to it, man. Oh, Mike, speak of Australian people. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, Liana. Hi, Liana. <laughs> she's the she's an Australian person that I would invite not to my house. Probably like we'd meet. I in, do. Like, a, I do have a question a actually event, though. Like that. So you, so since July you've known Darcy Rev. Yeah, and you let him stay at your house. You've known this person for all of what five, six months. You let they were already had plans of traveling to the states, and I decided to offer a little bit of room and board for the time being. And they had an itinerary planned out, and basically things kind of fell to shit after that. So, if you don't mind me asking, don't you live in bumfuck nowhere though? I'm not gonna dox myself. I mean, I know where generally you live. You're in the fucking Midwest, aka bumfuck nowhere. The sticks. Yeah. Oh sticks. no, I'll, I'll I'll let you guys believe that. Run with it. All right, sure, whatever. But the fact. But that like, I guess I have a question for Rev. No, if, if you guys said one to two nights, I think that's what your wife told me. Ex-wife. Why not just like, even if they're fucking sick, who cares? Kick them out of the street one two days. How sick were they? Like how like throwing up? Like it, unable to move? Like <laughs> how did this become a one two night thing to two weeks? I think it was a, a psychological sickness. Actually, well, out the door. That's what I would have done. Why not? What do you mean you don't <laughs> like get out? What do you Wait, mean? two weeks? 
Yeah, two nights became two weeks. Yeah, how about two days? How Gone. did that happen? <laughs> That's insane, dog. Like I, I, I don't mean, have the I don't I, Rev. Shit. I don't have the same heart that you do. You're a better man than me. Yeah, you're a way better man. I would have. <laughs> I would have oh, shot wait, him. Dude, I would have woke been... up on the third day like, oh, shot him. <laughs> well, you gotta at least give him seven days. Okay, a full week rest and recover. Maybe they can get better. If they can't get better in seven days, that's it. I mean, I, I, I will say, dude, I mean, I was just trying to be a generous host and, and you know, not, I wasn't going to put them out in the middle of the fucking country they've never been to. You yeah, know, how generous, so. how generous. Well, I mean, that's their fucking fault. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> they came <laughs> there, the you know what I'm saying, bro? They fucking came to America. You, know uh, you guys can <laughs> fucking speculate all you want about that shit. Not, nothing on my end ever happened. Fuck no. I would have been like, Skeet, brother, you're going to have to go kick some no, rocks some no, shit, bro. No, Smoke some crack, no. be a real man. Rev was, Rev was unicorn hunting. What's that mean? <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? Are you serious? I think that, I think is this some, is this some sex term that you new age millennials have? No, I think I know what Ember's getting at. It was the fucking, um, the crazy hot to ratio. What? No, fuck? no. Whatever happened in the right, penis unicorn and vagina? Hunting, unicorn yeah. hunting. Unicorn yeah. hunting generally refers to a heterosexual couple seeking out a single individual to join their no, weird no, threesome no, thing. No, 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 it doesn't. No, no. no, no. That's just unicorn, a normal threesome. No, no, yeah. Those are those are also called swingers too. Woman. So, but yeah, no, unicorn's I'm a bisexual not. woman who's down for it. Like any fucking dude, you can get to fucking like a dude will fuck anything. The unicorn is a bisexual woman who will join the fucking threesome. That's what a unicorn is. And I'm sorry, but male to female trend, it doesn't count. It does not count as a unicorn. A diamond doesn't at this point. You got that backwards. It's female to male. Darcy is I don't female fucking to care. Male. I can't yeah, keep Darcy's track of them. They have a cock when they're born. Or they're... <laughs> Wait, that's a good question. Is Darcy born with a cock? Or, like, you know, how that nah. one works? No. Female to Darcy male. Darcy is uh, female, female to male. Although, to I will male. tell you, Darcy's got pretty big balls for faking a suey bait. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. Well, I gotta say that this is funny as shit that you guys are speculating about my orientation or what I'm into. I so. thought Darcy was a man, honestly. So, I mean, they're passing in my book. Congratulations, Darcy. You passed. Uh, I thought... <laughs> I made a lesbian joke, bro. I legitimately uh, thought... Darcy W uh, for that, I guess. Wait, uh, seriously. Qu- Darcy is a man. For the record, Darcy is a man. Oh, wait, mm-hmm. what? Hold up. No, wait. This uh, this is why I hate these whoa, fucking Whoa, hold on. Does, does Darcy have a I, penis? Whoa, 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 I like whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything cool about being a man is because whoa, whoa. of the, our penis. I can't penis. keep track. It's too fucking confusing. You're born with a cock. You're born with a vagina. Which one did they start out with? Cock or vagina? Which one? The she vagina. Had a, she had a vagina, bro. Okay. Okay. So that's female to male. So she's a trans woman. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. No, yep. no, no. He is I a trans man. man. But she's a woman. No, and he's a man. Trans. He's a no, trans man. No penis, no, no opinion. Music. Sorry. Oh no penis, no man. Oh my god. No, he is a trans man. He transitioned to male. He is a man. I mean, that's, him. that's interesting you say that. I remember when you said no uterus, no opinion in a call where we were talking about abortion. Mm-hmm. What do you got to say about the trans people that don't have a vagina but have a penis then? Um, are no, they speaking no on abortion? Because again, no uterus, no opinion. But they're a woman. I also don't believe in the trans menstrual cycle. So you want to talk about that, Flyly? I don't believe in it either. It's it's (laughs) a myth. It's my duty to tell you. My friend, you have horrible cramps. You need to go to a doctor. That's probably bad IBS. Those are not your menstrual (laughs) beans. Imagine, like, making drug policy and be like, no crack pipe. You can't make any rules on drugs. If you're not smoking crack... You can't make the rules. They want to take away our zen, but give you methadone clinics. Okay, so Brick, you're saying that a bunch of men should decide the autonomy of my body? Right. Yep, it's all right. Okay, bye, Brick. I mean, they already have, technically, if you think about it, since they overruled Dobbs. (laughs) Wait, wait, they already have. And then the recent (laughs) appeal was made by uh, a a multi-gendered, what was it, council? Multi, multiple ethnicities? And uh, male females, they they all decided on the woman's gender ideology. They banned abortion, but it was all these old white men that put abortion in. Just remember that. The more you know, I'm gonna go look up the Supreme Court people that did that now. Give you their names, addresses, phone numbers, emails. Hey. I think it's, I well, think well, it's, it's only illegal in Texas opinion. and Alabama now, isn't it? 
Uh, uh, there's is... quite a few red states. I think Arkansas. So um... my my big thing with gender Indies. affirmation, I'll go fuck what you do when you're 21. All right, I'll go fuck. You leave damn kids alone, bro. Your kids' brain ain't even developed yet, bro. I wanted to be a you dragon when I was alone. fucking eight. Chop my wiener off, give me wings, bro. What the fuck? I'm be sick as fuck, bro. Hey, man, it's the state's right to brainwash your children into being sterile before they hit puberty, okay? Dude, I didn't even know what my wiener did till I was, like, 12. I was a... Dude, I discovered a whole new world. More than 12. being sterile, delaying sexual... Late, late delaying sexual... Uh, well, delaying puberty um, means that those children will never reach sexual maturity, so they will never climax. Like, the whole... The whole I don't know the forefront of the debate behind the trans movement, it's the right? Is that it's to support it's to support their mental health. But what is the mental health of someone that can never have an orgasm? It's the pedophiles uh, to keep them young well, and stupid. Yeah, but make them like, look like kids still. Children is fucking is insane. Like you can't. <laughs> you're like you don't have to get a tattoo. Oh, geez, you bro. Get, not be able to fucking these rich yourself. pedophile elites don't want to keep these kids young and looking like kids forever. Well, no, it's not even that. They just want to lower the birth rate. They want to fucking, they want to lower the birth rate. They want to take males out of society. That way males can't, like, uprise against the fucking system when they need to do it. Certain. It's all about, like, emasculating men because as much as women are great for the girl power stuff, like, when it comes to, like, actually getting mad at, like, the people who matter, like, you need a bunch of, like, men with balls. And if you don't ever develop <laughs> Well, that's balls, what, uh, that's what, what's his name was saying? Like, when it becomes, when it comes to war, they had this huge, like, equal rights thing going on in ukraine for a while then ukraine got invaded what happened with all the women that were for equal rights they suddenly went to default so he's like oh no we need to be safe we gotta get out of here and then the boys had to stay and fight like fuck bro we're fucked up but that's the majo- yeah. majority of women will do that they'll, they'll just it's not I, it's gonna sound so fucking what is it sexist but like men have been beating each other with rocks and sticks for millions of years right it's not a in an, an innate female role right but that's not saying like a woman can't fight in war with like an f-13 fighter jet or a tank or some shit like that it's just like hand-to-hand combat who's who's gonna win the majority of the time you know what i mean yeah, they might be better in tanks, that's like our, our, our ingrained in our brain in, bro. Well, well, there's a reason tanks. why american military doesn't send women to the front line there's that's true reason. also when they were they were with uh marine corps training they had changed the test so that more women could pass it as well which doesn't make any sense because if I am a, uh, let's say I'm a gunner, right? I got mm. this LMG strapped to my back and I got 100 pounds of fucking ammo on me. And let's just say my lieutenant in charge of the platoon is a female, right? She's got her assault rifle, if you will. Not an Armalite rifle, for anyone getting confused, right? Maybe she's got it on 50 to 70 pounds of gear. If I get hit in the legs uh, and she's the closest one to me, what is the likelihood that this... 115, 180 pound woman is going to carry a 250 pound man with 100 pounds of gear on him. Well, I mean, it's not even that. Like, just you, you could fuck off all that because maybe you know you do get the the thing where you could get like a fucking woman who's like genetically like six two and built like a fucking tank, right? And can pass the that's can pass, that's like, fine. Yeah, I'm all for that. However, however, women have a smaller bone structure than us, and like it, that's a huge problem where it causes like uh like uh issues with like the like fractures and stuff like that and it, it's and surviving uh surviving concussive blasts too the the uh, male skeletal frame that, is yeah. is more rigid against concussive blasts than the female they they will hemorrhage a lot worse than a, a male skeletal system will well i mean also there's there's you know cohesion and shit like that and like it's like i don't know man you take a bunch of fucking dudes who are signing up to kill people and uh i don't know they're generally uh like trying to fuck uh anything that moves so if you put the anything that moves in with the dudes who are trying to kill people, like, I know there's the whole thing, like, you know, there's the, like, yeah, like women, like men should like self-control and shit like that. But you know, everybody's seen the thing where like, there's a bunch of dudes hanging out. Then one girl comes around. They all, you know, it, it changes the dynamic of it. Those and are called, just, uh, what are they called? Um, bunker bunnies? Hoppers, barracks bunnies? Barracks bunnies, well, no, yeah. I'm, just, I'm not even talking about in the military. I'm just talking about, like, male behavior. Like, at the end well, of the day... Well, that was the like, thing they were having with POWs, with the females in the Marines for the POWs. They were just getting raped and killed. They weren't even being held. Like, the females were just getting raped and killed. So yeah. Why? A, well, how in good conscience could you send uh, well, the, the a, a woman in too. there? Well, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. we're expendable. Who gives a fuck about them? Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's kind of the, 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 the dignity thing. It's actually, like, the this old school like you know 
it's the patriarchy where we try to like protect women. That's that's the crazy thing about the patriarchy is where we try to like not fucking put women in harm's way and try to get them out of this thing. Like the whole like the whole patriarchy thing where it's like, hey, women shouldn't be in the workplace. It's like, I don't know, women have always been in the workplace. They used to work in factories and shit. And then in the nineteen fifties, like, hey, maybe you just stay home for a little bit. And then within twenty years, everybody's like, nah, nah, they shouldn't stay home. They should fucking go out and work a corporate job. Okay? I have a hot take about I would, that. Uh... I think corporate America had took advantage of women going back to work. Like think of it this way. Back in the fifties, sixties, seventies a man could work one job and support a whole family, right? Yep. And then it's Big fun. Corp found out that, hey, most of these homes now have two major revenue streams coming in. Let's fucking jack the prices on these. Well, maybe it wasn't exactly like that, but it definitely well, no, leads it, into but that. It, well, it does. It doesn't have to. They don't have to necessarily jack the prices. It's just, it. Ch- look, there's all, like, look, my grandparents, when, uh, you know, I'm not from a rich family, and in, like, my family, my grandmother worked, right? My my grandfather was NYPD. My grandmother, she worked in uh like a she was a like a secretary in a for like in a place where they dealt with like special needs kids and shit. Um Uh-oh. and like I'm on the other side of my family, my other grandma, she was she was again, she did secretary work and shit. It's not like you know, she like my it would have been cool if they, you know, my grandpa grandmother could stay home, but like this like myth of like, oh, they kept women out of the workplace is, you know, is bullshit. So there is this thing where like uh like you want to be able to allow women to like go and get higher earning jobs because there was like this this boys club back in the day. But Especially we did kind of but it was this like the the bait and switch where it wasn't just, you know, getting women better jobs. It was also this thing where it was like, you know, uh the lowering the like uh the like fault for divorces and shit like that like disillusion of the family and uh like do it was this it was like a combination of multiple things mm. that ultimately like fractionalized like not fractionalized but like broke up the families and broke up like the the nuclear family like the base building block of the society and doing that like it forced everybody to fend for themselves and it kind of drove everybody apart and like it completely restructured how like society works and like in our generation like we got we we got hit and fucked the most i mean when i say our generation i mean i think me and you are the same age the ladder were pulled up behind us yeah or behind well, our not, parents not even that i just mean like when we were fo- when you went to college right when not me and you went to college it was a scam. What, like not even that but like when women used to go to college back in the day they'd go to college not even to get a degree but a lot of them would go to college to find a man who was that well educated and could provide for her? When we went to college, the kind of the whole idea of college for most people was to go to party school and get fucking right. Like that was kind of the American <laughs> like idea. I wanted my engineering certificates. I didn't go to college for that. I actually skipped my year out of high school because I already had my. No, girl. I just mean like the the, but the majority of the yeah. Like if you look at Nelk and everything like that, that's pretty much what it was at large. Yeah. Yeah, talking about like the rise of Tinder, the rise of hookup culture, and stuff like that. And like this, this push away to like that you like when you're 20, those years don't matter. And like, it's all about just, you know, chasing hedonism and chasing like, you know, fucking the, I don't even want to say the next best thing. And it's not everybody, right? There's plenty of people who fucking found their fucking soulmate who settled down and shit like that. But the, the going trend in society is, well, you don't strong, independent, you don't need nobody for, and then on the male thing, it's like, ah, go and chase thoughts. And, like, doing that, like, I don't know, aren't we, like, marrying and pairing off the latest fucking than anybody else? So, you combine that, and it's not because, like, like nobody wants to get married. It's just society kind of fucked everybody. But, I don't know. I'd like to talk about the Holocaust again, if that's okay with you guys. It's, uh, I think I like to blame, it, it all started with the millennials coming up, because the millennials were told that they could be anything they want to be when they grow up, pretty much. And it was a lot of, uh... It was a lot of that turning point of instant gratification. Now worse more than ever with Gen Z. Like that's what we started. Like when I was when I was playing hockey. So I played house hockey. So it's local hockey uh, in the summer because that was the off season for okay. me. And we were specifically told not to run the score up. And at the end of the season, we would all get trophies. I'm like, what the? You know, as as a fucking eleven year old kid, I'm like, why are we? Why are we told not to run the score? Up? Yeah. What? What? Same thing of football. Like I'm out there. Like. 
you could fucking die playing hockey, bro. Like, I'm not... You're gonna tell me to stop running the score. Fuck that. I want to make you cry, bro. You chose to play this sport. You chose to go against me. This is your fucking fault. Now you gotta deal with the consequences. Suck it up, buttercup. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Vice versa. If I'm getting my ass beat, I gotta figure a way to make that better. I gotta pick myself up off the ground. But now, like, I've been refing and all this other stuff. I have to tell the teams that, hey, you can't, you guys can't run the score up. You're going to have to play your fourth line against the first line on the other team. So it evens the game. That's so stupid. So st- I think that's where we're getting wrong. It's it's uh, like we were talking about it before. It's a way to um, not, not masculine energy. What is it? What is it? Uh, that big, that big misconception of what toxic masculinity is of, oh, guys need to dominate. Like and every guy, every guy wants to dominate the world. You know what I mean? Every Not guy really. wants to be on top of the world. I think uh, most people, most it's guys, labeled toxic masculinity. Yeah. Then it's like well, most guys just want to. Fuck yeah, them. I feel like you, you were talking about that flatly. Like, life, like the toxic it's masculinity. Such new, like, it's such it, a new look, thing now. Like, like yeah, we were, like I the was participation playing, uh, trophy shit. Yeah. Like, like I used to play in AAU leagues and basketball. Like you, you know, AAU yeah, was like yeah, the organized, yeah. uh, you know, the national circuit and stuff. You know, for like a youth sport, youth basketball at least. Yeah. Like I played in AAU, and you know the coaches would be telling me, like you know I'd go out there and score like fucking thirty points because I was the best right. player on my team, you and like they would be like, you're, "You're gonna sit for the rest of the game." No, I was like the the fucking shooting guard. Oh, uh, we're. But it, I didn't like, see when that I was until a kid, I got to college, and, and like. I understand, like, toxic masculinity would be like, oh, yeah, fuck bitches, women are below us. Like, that's some toxic-ass shit, right? But then they told me to, like, especially with the hockey, that you guys can't run the score up. Fighting is barbaric and everything like that. It's all toxic masculine energy. And I'm like, what the fuck? Fighting is literally, like, the basic, uh, most yeah, basic form me, of like... a man, bro. Like, that fight-or-flight response. Yeah. It's like, if you're flighting, bro, in the middle of a one-on-one, uh, your man card is revoked. I'm sorry, bro. Like, it's gone. Yeah, like, like when I played you basketball, would not have made shit, it back like, in the day, bro. Like they tell you, like, uh, like, oh, if you're up by like ten plus points, you can't uh, press. You can't oh, like, full court press and like guard mercy people rule too. Yeah, like the, the mercy rule. That? Like if you're up by ten points, you can't like full court press. And they'd tell me that I couldn't shoot the ball, and I'd be like. Bro, I'm going for fucking forty, or I'm going for fifty. Like I'm trying triple double, buddy. Yeah, like my last season of uh, AAU, I literally averaged a triple double. Jesus Christ! (laughs) Because that's when I hit my growth. That's when I hit my growth spurt and fucking got like shot up to like six foot two from like five foot five. It's like over here. Before I started playing high school ball, they're like tough. Yeah, The, the kids now. So. When I was playing hockey and football, we were hitting and, and checking at ages yeah. six, seven, and eight, right? That's when you, we learned to hit. We're all growing up. Now they're saying that they don't want them to hit until later on. I'm like, what? It's going to be worse. And now that these kids, uh, five years ago they did this. Now these kids are going into these bantam leagues. They're, they're 12, 13. They're facing other kids out of state. And here they're facing kids from Canada because they're so close where they've been hitting since they were six, seven, and eight years old, and these kids are getting fucking hurt worse than what they were before. I'm like, why? Yeah, Whose idea was that? Yeah. Yeah. Whose <laughs> idea was that to protect the kids and tell them that if you don't want your kid to get hit, don't put your kid in the sport, bro. It's all about growing up. The first time I got rocked as a kid, bro, it's the first time I truly felt like, oh, shit, like I'm finally growing into my body. Like I know what I can do. You know what I mean? Yeah, but well, I, they wanna, they, I feel like, I, I you know, society these days at least, shit. They just want to is like the man. it's different for millennials and Gen Z though because like we grew up with the internet like you oh, know yeah. growing rapidly at least the millennials like we grew up with the internet growing rapidly I fucking hate that. and I hate that like, I and, yeah and I mean, like, it's like a lot of us were teenagers like, you know like as like a lot of us were teenagers you know smartphones came out and you know everything got for streamlined. Me, the iPhone came out when I was in high school. I, the iPhone came out yeah. in high school, like before that. And like I was in, like I was in, like a not a rich part of Jersey, but like you know, blue class. Like every a lot of like blue class, blue collar. A lot of people had you know money, so like everybody had fucking BBM. Everybody had fucking uh, the razor like, flips, uh, sidekicks. Yeah, and then it fucking changed. 
then by the time I got to college, that's when the iPhone came out. Like, well, the iPhone was out, but then it was like everybody had it and fucking all these apps were coming out. And it really, it took, it made, first of all, it made like internet available to everybody. It's like before that, the internet was kind of like, you know, I don't, not niche. Niche as yeah, hell. Yeah. It was, it was niche in a way. And then it just ate the fucking society and like it became like commoditized and consumerized. And now if I talk to you for here for like 10 minutes about catnip or like fucking, I don't know, like vape fucking juice, something like that, I'll go on my phone in about an hour and a half, even though I didn't touch the phone and it'll go and start recommending me this shit. Like it's it, the world around us is fucking absolutely insane. And it's changed. Changing faster and it was, like, we can understand it. Well, yeah, like the yeah, internet it's itself that, changed it's not too. That understand it? It's because people understand it. They fucking they they understand it. They fucking know how to fucking package it and market it to you. How to turn you into a commodity? How to fucking sell your data? How to fucking keep track on you? It's faster than it is explained to the average person. You know that's the that's the real trick of it. Because if you fucking know, if you understand how it actually works, people get pissed. You know, if you understand like how everything actually fucking works. I mean, everything, you know, I was, I was got into a debate with somebody the other day, uh, and they were, fuck, it was the efficacy about, like, uh, you know, basically propaganda by the government. And everybody's like, oh, no, well, the government's got to do what's got to do. It's like, no, we live in a fuck. If, if people know what's going on, like, people will get pissed off. The problem is, they, every, instead of people understanding what's going on with the world around them, we're too busy talking about, I don't know, what's the fucking news? Like, trans that's not even trans bathrooms anymore it's more just like i don't even fucking know puberty blockers or whatever or like what, what's the what's the big thing because I mean, we kind of got off track with this whole war in israel and the war in the ukraine but like what's the what's the hot button social issues it's never like you know class like class inequality it's never about like the fucking the spy net or the fucking like pervasiveness of like you know how the how the algorithms not only can like feed you content but could mold how you think if you understand how like you know how, how like human fucking sociology works and how like human fucking like baseline fucking behavior works you know it's not just like it it's as it's really nefarious because it like we could all joke about it and almost everybody knows that if i go and talk about you know a ballpoint pen i really need a nice expensive ballpoint pen to go and write with that i'll get a fucking mm. ad later and that's the what you see on the surface but what people don't understand and then we also understand like that the news lies to us at least people who are still sane uh everybody else who fucking people who go and actually believe the news wholeheartedly have just fucking checked out completely and i those people actually scare me um <laughs> true true but, yeah, like, like most news sources have like pushed their own. They're like pushing their own agenda behind the stories. No, so they tell they they they, like, they, yeah, they like they don't push their own they, agenda. They like push stories a certain way. Nope, it's well. not that. It's it's way worse than that. It's it's all con it, it, Operation Mockingbird. The CIA fucking controls what's in our fucking what's in our fucking all our media. It's not it's not just the media's now because that whole fucking thing it falls out the window when it's like. Oh, they just want to. They just want to make profits. They just want to. They just want to. Like, you know, it'd be good for profits if Trump won in twenty twenty four or twenty twenty. Then, then the liberal media would be going off the hook. The Fox News media would be going fucking great. Okay, like, and like they they'd be making lots of money. But it's not about the money that the media makes. It's not about fucking spinning their agenda to make their own money. It's about control. But spinning the agenda to control the outcome, because what's going on now? Like everybody knows that fucking you know all the media lies they pissed away all their credibility while trump was in office everybody knows that at least anybody who's sane and pays attention still it's not about their spreading their agenda it's spreading the agenda it's making enough fucking believable fucking shit enough like false fucking shit that can get people enthralled and entertained in the fucking game it really is a fucking house of cards i mean look fucking tucker carlson right that guy was you know fucking said some insane shit on fox news i couldn't believe it Right, I used to mm. fucking go, and I go over to my parents' house. They have fucking Fox News on because I don't watch cable. So I go over there. I'd fucking watch Tucker Carlson. And I'd be like, oh, there's no, no fucking way this guy's talking about this. You know, fucking Epstein Island, all sorts of other shit. Right, shit that most fucking you know news media doesn't talk about. Kick him off the air. He goes and he's he's our guy, right? He's the fucking guy. He's telling us the truth. He has Alex Jones on. He's all these people. Who do you have on for Christmas? He's fucking Kevin Spacey on, dude. 
hit fucking Kevin Spacey on it. I still haven't watched the fucking thing because I got caught up in Fish Tank. And actually, I probably should watch the Kevin Spacey thing before anything else. Uh, he had fucking Kevin Spacey on. The guy who fucking, like, pretty much set the whole Me Too fucking thing into fucking motion. Who ended up, and the guy who was going to testify against him, like, fucking died in a mysterious way beforehand. The guy was the fucking, and the guy, what's Kevin Spacey for most recently? The whole House of Cards thing. You know? It's it's way more nefarious than just like, oh, it's about the media making a profit. No, it's not. They don't give a fuck about making a profit. Look at look at it. Because they're not making a profit now. They're losing money. They're hemorrhaging money. I agree. So it, it's not, and like, that's the real black pill when you realize, because like, you can say, like, because it's, there's two theories in how the world works, right? It's that oh, okay, there's some fucking grand scheme and grand fucking schema that's fucking, they're all, like, there's a conspiracy, a formal conspiracy where they're, like, they're, people are working together for a fucking plan. Or the other, like, option is just that, you know, individual fucking failings in the world, the greed of mankind, everybody who has their own little fucking thing they want to go and do, and they're, like, contributing to fuck the world all individually differently, but it all adds up to a way more fucked up world, right? That's, like, the two theories. And, you know, the that one, the second one, is generally based off of profit motive, right? What the, the fuck are we talking motive. about? Profit motives, like, you know, I don't fucking, fucking you know, know anymore. The, hey, the, 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 the sin, right? Money, fucking <laughs> lust. Yeah, I think it's about time for us to wrap this, because we ran out of the... Uh... Like the drama topics, at least we're just kind of getting off. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, off what, base, like what yeah, the people are here yeah. for. All I want to say is I love the Bilderbergs. I love Black Cube. I love uh, the CIA. I love Operation Mockingbird. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks you guys for having me. And uh, like uh, all I, so I want to say, this is a King Rick shit bit. Nothing I say is true. It's all just a joke. Ha 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 ha. Nothing. It's all just. I'm a crazy guy. I'm a silly, silly, crazy guy. It's not as real. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you know that's a great price to place to leave it off though, because we ran yeah, out of like f- topics basically yeah, to uh, go into. What the fuck that though? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was trying to feed into. <laughs> I apologize to everybody crazy. since I didn't bring my A game. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Like it was fu- Like he was funny at first. The night before, what the fuck? Everybody, bro. We got fucking uh, demolished last night. Yeah, that was just fucking insane shit. Are you ever going to post that flatly? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank God. I need to know the context of everything. Thank God. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Flatly's the fucking savior of the commentary. Who's, uh... <laughs> What's the next big thing? Shit. Uh, I don't know if, like... I, I know there's, like, a few pieces of news. I don't know that, like, particularly, like, commentary drama things. Uh, I know... Did you hear Daniel Larson went to fucking jail? Yes. And, the, and that's what? funny enough. Yeah, Daniel Larson went to jail, and then yeah. the same same day, uh, World of Cheese Shirts also went to jail. Same day. Yeah, what Daniel Larson was arrested for, like, uh, evading justice for, yeah. like, uh, not showing up to his court hearings for I his, mean, like, two, other shit. I mean, two years too late, but whatever. <laughs> What's that family that's on YouTube, um? Dude's and then our world of cheese, right world, world of t-shirts, or Joshua Wait, Block uh, has been. Has wait, which one are you referring to, uh, flatly? What the hell? Is, what the hell the, is his name? He was. Is it the Ace family that Ace you're talking family. about? Yeah, Ace family. What's Ace up with family. him? Why is he in the trailer? Ace... It's because uh, Catherine uh, filed for divorce on him. He, you know, he got caught like uh, slip, like slipping into women's DMs and shit. Like being weird and chicks DMs. And Catherine didn't know about so that. So his two wife years ago? is like divorcing him. Do you know what I also she saw? She's probably today? just like, probably just like too concerned with like living that fucking lavish lifestyle to care. But Krishan? you know, they've kind of fallen off. You guys know Krishan, Blueface's chick? Yeah, Krishan Rock. She got Blueface tattooed on her face after they already separated. I mean, yeah, I, I, I fucking kind of die inside a little bit every time I see something about Krishan Rock and Blueface. Mm. This shit is fucking but, wild. But yeah, Daniel Larson went to jail. Joshua Block went to jail. So, we're losing law cows. That's not a good thing. 
This is a good place to I wanted to know what y'all thought of uh, the Oreo getting 24,000 watch hours on his Over stream Pokemon? yesterday. Over Pokemon? Yeah. The homie had a dog. Oh, shit. We should talk about Pokemon first. Yeah. Dog. dog. All right. What is it? I'm going to dip out, guys. Have a good night. Later. Good night, Rev. Take care, Rev. What is this drama that she knows about, bro? About the Twitch shit? The Twitch that she's shit, bro. Hell, what is she that know? she's held onto herself for years because she's a fucking snake that holds on to shit until it's convenient? Exactly, bro. She had to wait for those cookies. Wait, did she say she something said. about Twitch? Yeah, that's there's wait, Twitch did... people that are talking inappropriate to her, uh, inappropriately to her. That she's been holding on. Oh, so they're just like fuck you and stuff, or she's just like you know saying that she's got like receipts on people. Yes, because she's you know a good person. Let's be real. Let's be honest here. Are we surprised? No, we're not fucking surprised. If you're surprised, if you're surprised, okay, for everyone in the audience, if you're surprised that he means a fucking backstabbing little snake, I I'm sorry, but (laughs) you're late to the party. (laughs) Sorry, <laughs> Santa like... Claus isn't real either, and neither is the Tooth Fairy. Damn, Pokemon's a fucking bad person it is, who just does things for her career. All right. <laughs> I mean, like, she's probably hold on. To, she's probably ha- she probably has logs on top of logs, on top of logs of shit that that Twitch has done to her for the past what ten years. Now that she now that she moves to YouTube, now she decides to release it all. Come on. I think I'm gonna end it here, boys. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good place to end. It was a fairly decent uh, night. I mean, we kind of got derailed there a little bit towards the end, but yeah, it was no, a fairly no, decent was, enough show. It was funny as shit, but like, I won't be surprised if this comes down. <laughs> no, I won't be surprised if it gets struck down either. Anyways, we upload it. I'll see you all on the next one, everybody. I love you. Yeah. Be safe to each other. See you all, all right. on the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Everybody, give us a notification bell. As always, guys, like the video if you enjoy. We're out. I got a hangover, whoa, I've been drinking too much for sure, I got a hangover, whoa, I got an empty cup, pour me some more, so I can go until they close up, hey, and I can drink until I close